nerfed, at least have a little fun with them while they're not nerfed. Um, and, you know, I, I stand by that. I want people to have fun with good guns. And then I want them to not use good guns because, you know, you, using one gun all the time is ridiculous. You should use a lot of them. That's why I level up all the guns. I want to have fun with a lot of them. And my big mis mistake, obviously, was assuming that Sledgehammer would properly update things in a timely manner, and instead they actually just don't give a shit, um, is what I've come to the conclusion of. I DM'd them on Twitter, they follow me, two months ago, balance the shotguns, they're too good. Two months later, still hasn't happened. They said they're going to, props, cool, you said you're going to do something, but two months later, after you were given feedback from someone that plays this game a lot and knows what they're talking about, that's too long. Too long. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't understand. It's, it's been ruining the game for me, personally. Every map is so shocking and heavy. And uh, it's just too easy to use. And it's not hard to balance them. Reduce the range, make the make the hip fire a bit less accurate. So they're just better at close range and they don't have the distance that they have now. And that'd be fine. They'd still be good on maps like DOS House, you know. But uh, they still wouldn't be used on like every map. <laughs> Pretty much. Either way, enjoy a video or a couple videos, a couple games. Defend the objective. Once you get law enforcement involved, or you want to have a conversation about what y'all are doing here. I have all of y'all's messages saved right here. Every single phone call, including your lewd, you're doing your loose stuff, is recorded and saved. I have everything saved. So do you want to have a conversation about it, or do you just want me to call the cops? What do you want to do? I have everything saved. We can have a conversation away from everybody, or it's very easy. Everybody has now one on speed dial, right? And I'm sure somebody's going to call me to see a commotion. And so we're recording for everybody's safety. Yeah, I'll leave it up to y'all, remember? Just like how Bailey did on the phone, okay? So y'all just want to go over there and just have a conversation, or what? Going to your car. You're going to your car? Okay. So what we're going to do, if you go to your car, we're going to immediately report you to Fort Bend Sheriff's, so Sheriff's Office, all the messages saved, all the phone calls saved. So what do you want to do? You want to have a call? Fine, or what? Well, 
with that being said, you had no reason to believe it wasn't underage because the picture did look underage. Yes or no? Yeah, the pictures did believe, and she told us that they were not her. She said it was her with the picture. That's what she said, John. Right, right. I mean, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna end up reading it. But she did say it was a filter, right? Yes. Okay. So let's let's establish this. The pictures look extremely underage. Yes or no? Crystal? Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Johnny, the pictures look underage. Yes. Okay. Then, so you see the picture on Scout, you message it, and then, besides giving the phone number, obviously, the first thing we say is, I'm 13. So you see an underage photo, which y'all both agreed to, and us saying, I'm 13. So, why did you proceed to talk to this extremely look, underage looking person? I've already person? answered that, like three or four One more times. time. No. Johnny? Why did, you, why did you proceed to talk to this extremely underage looking person? Well, I didn't believe her at first. Okay. And, and then, you know, after seeing her on the video, I already didn't believe her. Okay. Um, again, but I'm asking you, why did you want to verify with her? You got super young photo telling you the truth. I'm not saying, I'm not asking you to believe it or not, just to verify. Just to verify she's real. Okay, and then when she did, uh, you proceeded to ask for a video call. But why do you need to know if a 13 year old's real or not? And because the original person that was talking to me, that was not a 13 year old. But you admitted it looked super young. No, we're talking about the scout picture. The scout picture was the exact same person as the picture that we saw. The scout photo looked extremely young. Now, granted, the scout profile said something like 30, but it didn't look like a 30-year-old. Because you admitted the picture that we showed you looked extremely underage, and that scout picture was the exact same person. So, by default, you're saying the scout picture is also extremely underage. Now, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not faulting y'all for. Uh, the picture that we saw on the scout was not the same. Was not the same picture. Really? Do you want me to prove you wrong right now? I can show you. You, you want me to show you what the picture on the scout was and the picture that we sent? I mean, I could prove you wrong right now. Same picture. It's the same person, same filter, same everything. Do you want me to prove you wrong, Crystal, or do you want to keep DSing? Which one do you want to do? I think he was so Which one, Crystal? I can, I can prove you wrong right now. What do you want to do? Is the camera on this one? Well, I, I need to ask you about your chat. Fine. Alright. Not a good answer, but why people meet assumed underage kids all the time? Extremely careful. We would kind of need one as careful as you guys. Well, it was just a curiosity. A curiosity thing. Well, that's all. Yeah. Oh, of course. Um, so you also you also mentioned we were in the seventh grade. I turned thirteen in June, and we said we go. To, and then which was we knew at that point that it was definitely lie because he's not a middle school, an elementary. Oh, and you still proceeded to send pictures of yourself, and you still proceeded to because we knew. Yourself. It's a middle, middle school, by the way. No, it's not? Okay. You're saying I looked at middle school here. Right. It is irrelevant. Because right after we say I'm in seventh grade, you proceed to send a picture of you and a picture of Crystal. Talk about middle school. Okay. So, um, yeah, so after we said we were in the seventh grade and turned 13, why'd you proceed to send a picture of Crystal? Possibly three. Okay. So again, let's continue a conversation with who you think is a 13 year old. Um, why is that? Because I didn't believe it. <coughs> because you didn't believe it? So why? And you said you've been policed before by text picture, right? Okay. But we, this was after we sent you the verification photos. So why did you, if you didn't believe it? Uh, short video. Oh, that's fun. Y'all are done. Y'all are done. Y'all are screwed. We're going to proceed to turn in everything to cops right now. And uh, they can find any cops sitting up real. And the cops are actually going to be Hey, how's it going, officer? Good, good. That's what I told you to go over there, Crystal. How's it going? Stubborn. Hey, good. <laughs> um, so these two right here are here to meet a 13 year old girl um, after chatting. Uh, hold on, hold on. Are y'all all together? Us three are together. Yeah, okay, those two are together. Okay, so.
that Merc and he's more the So good video actually. Good video. Cool. Cool. I, I didn't get anything though. You know, just Alex downgraded one. No. <laughs> Alex downgraded one. How's it going? So those two individuals right there, their name is Said it was pretty cut and dry and pretty much saw what he needed to see it look like. And
disgusting. What? <laughs> Yo, it's... <laughs> oh, whoa, man. <laughs> cops right there and they both there was a consensus that both are like yeah it's pretty bad and you know they're still the two gorillas are still talking talking about other cop um let's see oh rosen who are you talking to <laughs> yeah so this was so right here our next catch showed up as we were doing this other one so I guess, you know, it's like a, kind of like a two-for-one type. <laughs> Boy, Faye, it's my own private police force. Okay, look, look, look. Rosen police. That's the Rosen police. Right there, Jan. Yeah. We're still in June. We're not doing the thing yeah, we are. Say so thanks for becoming a member to whoever. <laughs> Just want to say. Big shout out to the demonetized word hunter, you know, I can't say that word on YouTube, John C, video cassette guy, and JJ for being the gold members, and shout out to V. I. for being uh, the Shoegare Daddy, and you know, obviously special shout out to Uncle Jimmy, and here Kitty Kitty for the continuous support. Right now, if you don't talk to me, I'm not gonna yeah, call the police if you talk fine. to me. Can you talk to me out here? Yeah, it's fine. Okay. But no, I wasn't like, you know. What? There's no need for that. I'm cool, bro. So, so, so I can say okay, this. I'm cool. I knew where y'all were coming from. So then, 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 along with it, then, why, then why'd you send a dick pic? Okay, That's not his. That wasn't his. I'm the photo. I sent the report. You sent the report. Oh, no, no, no. no. You, you said everything. You, 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 that, that's me fucked up. That, how, how old are you? That's 15,000. That's your picture? Yeah. So you're lying. So you're lying. You got any weapons on you or anything? Okay. All right. Do I need to call the police? Okay. Then what? Yeah, you should never send the picture. Then why'd you go along with it then? <coughs> yeah, you wasted my time. I thought I did what I do for a living. But yeah, I said, but yeah, yeah, I said, my buddy, I'm like, you know, I said, 
Uh-uh, uh-uh. You really drug, drug him into that. That's horrible, bro. That's horrible. So, look. Uh, I know why you're here, okay? I do know why you're here. So I can either humiliate you in front of like, what, 10 people at this Walmart, okay? Or we could just have a talk over there about why you came here, okay? So what do you want to do? You want to just walk away from me and go the public humiliation route? Or do you want to have a chat over there? About what? About why you're here. I know why you're here. I know why you're here, okay? So look, I'm Jackson. Like, I'm this guy that was talking to you on the phone and stuff. I went to search for like online predators and all that, but, okay, so. I told you about meeting Alex one day, my uh, Jackson cousin. I'm Alex, right? the 6'4", 275 pound guy. You guys see he was on Grinder. I should have said a little bit because that's where I found y'all, okay? So, like, look, okay? We can either go, have a combo over there, or I can publicly change you, okay? About to close. Correct, correct. So, it's like an hour away, okay? So, we can have a chat over there about why you came here, or we can, or you quick can walk chat. away, like, chat. say it again. A quick chat. A quick, quick chat, chat, all the way over there. Or we can go, and if you want to walk away and give us that silent treatment, I will humiliate you in front of everybody. Okay? Without laying a hand on you, but, okay? So what do you want to do? It's up to you, man. I personally, I'd like to talk to you, man. Thank you. Okay, so. I just want to hear it. Don't tell me here, please. That fine young man. That's, don't tell me. Yeah, come on. Yeah. Come on, Matthew. We're going to go chat over there, okay? You're being cooperative. That's a start. But, uh, yes, sir. Let's get it. Okay? <laughs> just stand by that TV, okay? Right. I mean, look, you ain't gonna be on TV, you're gonna be on the computer, but, you know, close enough, all right? We're just practicing, all right? So look, okay? So, I know you came to, to see a 14-year-old boy off the internet, okay? Well, it's been a good thing to I understand that. I understand you didn't talk, uh, I understand you didn't talk that talk with him, okay? Well, actually, I work for CPS. You work for CPS? Yeah. That is a uh, scary thing. <laughs> That's why CPS is under scrutiny from, like, pretty much everybody. Hey, Mel, if you're watching this, I watch your videos, okay? So, like, look, okay? Here, Mr. Mr. Zamboni got to come, so come forward this way, okay? It, it's not okay, but we'll let you, we'll let you through this time. <laughs> One time, okay? But look, okay? All right, now go back to the Not yet, not yet. There's a lot of noise. Correct, correct, okay? So, look. I just want to know, what made you think it was okay? Well, right, we're going to go outside, all right? <clears throat> We'll stop the recording. Yes, ma'am. We'll stop Right. Grew up in Pasadena. Okay. And 
there were Looks like you never grew up past 14 because you still like 14 year olds. So, but anyway, they don't talk. They don't talk. They don't talk. They don't There were not very many gay people that I knew that I could talk to. Okay. And so I thought, well, I'll just go ahead and be somebody that he could talk to. I have two nephews. One of them is. The other one is, I don't really, I think he might be about Jack's age, if Jack is a real person, which I'm not sure at this point. Either. So I was thinking this, if he was eighth grade or so, and that's the grade that my nephew just graduated from. Okay, but the thing is, <coughs> that, that would be a nice little soft store right there, but you told me that you went on the Yahoo chat room and you have you fooled around with a 15 year old when you were 25, and that's that like the hell, man. Like, that's that that's 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 what, that's what a child predator is, man. Well, again, that was even somebody who was in in that situation. It was somebody who was in a very small town. Children can't I'm say it. I was ch children. I don't know what a small town has to do with you being a small boy. Okay, children can't consent. <laughs> children cannot consent. Okay. I, I, I don't like I don't like I told you multiple times, okay, that you know I don't like because at first I had second thoughts about you know you might want to just meet little Jackson because you know what you felt bad for the guy you, you know but I told you multiple times if you feel bad don't come okay I did say that I was like if you feel, this is why you feel bad you don't have to come but you still wanted to come. What are you doing? <laughs> anyway, but like, okay, look, so, I told multiple times y'all want to come, and I actually, because our, our first phone call, it was me, I was live streaming to my, uh, some of my subscribers, okay, and a lot of them were saying, like, start talking sexual to you, start doing all that, but you know what, I was like, I'm not going to do it, I'm going to see where you take things, and you know what, I was like, you know what, that's what I told you, you call me back, you want to hang out, and you call me back, you call four times, four times, okay, and, my phone has never been blown up like that, okay? I'd be flattered if it was a woman doing that to me, but it's a 42-year-old man going after what he thinks is a 14-year-old boy, and that just made me sad, okay? So, like, look, I just want to know why you did it, because I, I did ask you, would you want to do that stuff that you did with the 15-year-old to, you know, little Jackson, and you said you don't know, but usually what happens is it's called grooming, which y'all do, okay? You get to know them, and then eventually you're just like, it's okay, it's me, whip it out, and that's not okay, okay? I mean, I, I know that's what you were thinking. I know nobody meets somebody off the internet just to hang out and be friends, okay? Well, I wouldn't say that because I've done that. <coughs> With 14-year-old boys? Well, no. With how old were they? People of various ages. Okay, black. Were they under uh, 17? No. Okay, so that's different because they're under 17. Or they're over 17, my mistake, but... When you're doing that with a kid, and the, and the kid said, I'll sneak out of the house. As an adult, you're supposed to be responsible and say, respect your parents. Don't sneak out of the house. Well, I can't. If you, were, if you really cared about the boy, you would not encourage him to sneak out at 11. The boy told you, 11, I'm going to take a nap. Because originally, we were supposed to meet at 9, but then he said 11. And I, 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 if you were truly the responsible man and the role model you wanted to be to Jackson, you would have said, know, go back to I bed. You're clearly not a role model because no role model is going to meet a 14-year-old boy off the internet. And no role model is going to say, I, I did it with a 15-year-old, okay? No, no no role model says that. That's that's a predator, okay? And I understand, like, you're the only one so far that I, I, I've encountered numerous of y'all, okay? And I've been in front of them in many different voices, okay? And you're the only one that has just stayed and talked. I mean, I don't know if it's because you're scared of crapless or what. I don't think you are, but I just want to, we are having a conversation right now. So, but what's going through your mind? Like, what, what, like, what made you think it was okay to do it? That's, that's not normal. I don't know. What? Why you did I guess I would have to know what was. What? I mean, I don't speak sign language, sir. Oh. Okay. You don't see what's wrong with being a 14 year boy. You don't see what's wrong with. You don't see what's wrong with. Yeah, I can sneak out like at 11. Like, like, 
I know it's really weird to my I never did that. But not my father was pretty much. Or I assume Jackson comes from a good home, which he said he he said he comes from a home where his mom is a stay-at-home mom and the dad makes dinero. Okay. Well, I couldn't always hear what he was saying. All right, I, well, it doesn't matter anyway, because it doesn't matter what home he comes from, because you're not saving this boy, okay? If anything, you're enabling him to to just be in a dangerous situation. I don't think you're going to kill gonna, the guy, but, no, he's you gonna, know. He's going to make his own choices. No, 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 I understand that. He'll make his own choices when he can't get sent. You know, a 14-year-old mind, a 14-year-old mind isn't developing, right? You know it's not. You're taking advantage of that. Well, I mean, to the extent that it is. Say it. So you think a 14-year-old... So, so you're a 42-year-old man. You say you have no influence over the 14-year-old? Not. I mean, to, I mean, in the sense that I can drive and that he cannot. What does that have to... So the 14-year-old literally said, my parent... I don't want my parents to find out. Why don't you? Why don't you tell him to respect his parents? Why don't you do the right thing? Well, I mean, if he didn't. Were you that? I mean, I don't know what he did. I mean, there was a lot that I was going. I, I like to hear people's stories, and so I was going to basically hit, sit there and listen to whatever the new. But did Jackson scenario. tell you that he had a story to tell you? He literally asked you, "What are? What is your intentions with me?" And you're like, "I want to hang out with you, and I want to take you out to eat dinner." And I asked you. So you that know, was basically it. I understand that, but then you also said you hooked up with a 15-year-old when you were also a 25-year-old. So based on your prior history, eventually I think it would come to... Well, come I to. mean, that... <laughs> well, I didn't actually get into the details of what happened. Right, I, I know. I think that was... Everybody that. knows fooling around means, like, wrestling and stuff. Totally not clothes off. Come on. It was very fun playing PlayStation. Yeah, yeah, on the end line. That's me calling each other and we're on PlayStation. That's what pulling around is, right? Yeah. 17 years ago? Totally, huh? I don't even know how long ago it was. Well, you did say it was when you were 25. But anyway, um, uh, put me in the eye, sir, to be honest. Um, uh, I'm just thinking about it. Uh, I don't know. He doesn't know. I guess. <coughs> since he's not. Since he's not. In a, I can't really hear all that. Um, since. I guess since he's been told, you know, your program or whatever. I don't know how the shows work. Um. Is it like a podcast? Or is it well, so he took a swing at the point and totally missed it. It's about you coming to meet a 15-year-old. Doesn't matter what this is about. Yeah, yeah, correct. Made it one year worse, but well, I, I just um, don't understand why. Like, I just don't understand what makes you think it's okay. Like Grinder. Well, I wasn't even sure if that was. I know you weren't sure if he was real. I understand. Hey, I mean, you know what? I just pull that out of my archives because everybody says that. That's rare. Well, I mean, rare thing. Okay. I, was, I mean, that was. I mean, you drove 30 minutes from uh, Pearland, Texas. Whew. Nobody wants to see the 14-year-old. No, nobody drives 30 minutes from Pearland to see the 14-year-old is real. Well, or not. Is so, I mean, you have to expect southeast to southwest. In the oh, fourth I largest mean, city in America, second largest land mass. Well, you, have, you had a far drive. It doesn't even matter about the drive. It's that you're here for a 14-year-old. Okay? Well, it's the fact that we don't really have much of a... Uh, anyway. Don't have much of a what? Go on. Uh, we're very spread out. Very, very. Okay, what does that have to do with you putting me to boy off the internet? Well, I... I probably, you know, if he lived in my town, I probably would have tried to meet him in my town. But I'm seeing he didn't live. <laughs> but the point is, you're meeting the boy. It's not. You're man. not supposed to. That's the thing. You're not, was, you're not supposed not. to. Right, but wrong. enticing a minor off the internet is still. I hadn't. It, first I, of all, was, it is wrong. Second of all, it's illegal. There's, what Third of all, did, you admit it on camera to give me sexual crime against a minor. What I have done is then. I did. I thank God you haven't done anything wrong. 
Well, he admitted to doing something wrong on the internet. He took, you're basically an uncaught child player, and it is wrong to intend to meet a monitor is also off the internet is also illegal. Like, um, like you know you're not supposed to, you know when he tells you he's 14, you're supposed to block him. So I didn't say, get off the cell. There's plenty of fine, you, you didn't know that? I don't know all the rules, I have to So did you, did you, did you not know there was an age of consent in Texas? But you know that's BS. I don't know all the, no, I honestly don't know all the rules. So, it doesn't matter, you, you, you're aware that there's an age of consent in Texas, you had to, because yeah. you understand, because I, I believe if I asked you, can a seven year old just have fun with a 40 year old, you would have said no, that's illegal, too young. I would say yeah. So you'd say four, four so I know you don't think it's a 14 year old, okay? Probably. I wasn't intending to do, I wasn't really intending to do anything, but listen to a story and go to dinner. Oh, I don't believe that. He drove 30 minutes, but it's a story. I mean, what? Well, you, I mean, you were just my, talking about podcasts. You just my, my, on there. My, uh, my mother lives near Hawking, so it's just the other way. So you're going to take him to dinner over there? No, well, I was going to go to the uh, oh. m- uh, Katz's in the Montrose area. All right, but you're taking, you're taking, so, Fancy. you're taking a 14-year-old boy who's very, you know, 14-year-olds have a very, uh, uh, like malleable he, mind. He didn't say he was. I mean, I asked because him how tall, year olds I asked him how, all, how tall he was. He wasn't like. Sorry. <laughs> he was just, I'd have, I, I mean, was, he, I was fourteen this, to five. This little fellow was kind of not very tall. What does that have to do with? What does that have to do with me and the boy, though? Look, let me tell you. Oh, this he person, doesn't go by. He goes by how tall he is. Oh, correct. Oh. Correct. Shit. So if it's one of them, like. Uh, <laughs> Basketball for like a taco fall or something. That's what seven foot at 13. You can just have fun with him, huh? Makes sense Look, let me tell you all this to the camera. So Montrose is the gay area of Houston Hypersexualized and that's where that's where this man wants to take The gay community is not hypersexualized grinds look the apps literally called grinder You think grinder standing 50 feet apart talking on the cell phone grinder grinding that's a sex app sex app I know you're not, no, but nobody goes on an online dating app for, especially with a 14 year old, you know you're preying on he him, sir. Say, I mean, he did after, I honestly didn't believe it was true. Right, like the know. voice, the saying, can't wait to come see you, all that. And the first thing I texted you was, I'm 14. You know that. Yeah. Right. Like, what do you have to say for that? You, and like, look, even if you are attracted to little boys like that, is Grinder not? You have not had pl- plenty of other options on Grinder. I get hit up so much on Grinder, on my personal and my decoy account. Well, look at. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was an unintended compliment. I didn't want. <laughs> I'm not gay though. I was just that was a joke. Okay? But look, Jesus Christ. <laughs> God damn it! Cut it. No, All right. Okay. okay, look. But you understand that I'm sure you have pl- everybody has plenty of options on Grinder. So why do you pursue the 14 year old? That's just I, that just seems like I a rumor wanted, type thing. I wanted to hear his story, and I thought I could go to dinner. All right. So if there's a big giant 21 year old named Tyrone, are you going to go hear his story, or are you going to? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I just don't believe it. I, don't know. I, just, I just really just don't believe that. Maybe people like stories. I don't know. Yeah, I, that's what, I mean, I worked at, I told them that that's what I did is I worked at the Medicaid office, and what I did as a case worker is I interviewed people, and that's what I did for eight hours a day, every day, and I did it for 12 years. So you wanted to interview him? Basically, I'd sit there and <coughs> tell a story, and he would tell me You stuff. could have just like, yo, press. I mean, I asked him, what are you doing? I asked him, did you go, you know, are you eating dinner? I asked, I can't remember what all I asked him. I'm losing brain cells, Alfredo. Take it from here. Oh, but I mean, it's not all that interesting or exciting. I'm not saying it's, it's not about your job. It's about I mean, no, what, I'm boy. Saying, what, what I do is just, I'm just not a very interesting or exciting person. No, I mean, we can tell. No offense, but. I mean, I. So it's cool to take a 14 year old to dinner like at 12. Like you, like, you know, his parents were asleep and he was sneaking out of the house. I thought it was strange. I never snuck out of the house. Um, Bad one. I was always, you know, a goody two shoes. Oh, that makes sense. The homo 
sexual innuendos are strong with this guy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like I just, like do you do, like I just don't believe you see that it's wrong. I still believe that you that you think it's not strange or weird or wrong to do it. If I had a guilty conscience. You should have. The guy's sneaking no, out of the house no, for you. If I had a guilty conscience, you say you had then I would have probably run. I think that's why people run. You have a nephew, right? I have a nephew. What if a 60-year-old was trying to meet him when he was 15? Well, he's 60. Okay, I would have I mean, I did, I did think about that, you know, as I was, you know, at the house, that I think he said his father was like 35 in his life. You know, I thought to myself, you know, it's, you know, it's much more common that I meet people his father's age than his age. Right, it's much more common. But I mean, it, I'll you tell know, you this. That, that, I mean, I typically that's who no. I, 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 I believe you. It's not like most people are 14 years old on Grinder. But the thing is, like, I think he said something about 14 years old people on Grinder, and it's like I thought there I are think a few. There, I've never met anybody 14 years old. On so I say, but that's the thing. You're not supposed to. Right. Well, I, You're not supposed to. Like, okay, I'll tell you a little tangent. I'm 19 years old. I know I don't look it, but don't look it. but the thing is, like. I DM this girl the other day, I have no rage, it was on Instagram, and my friend told me, like, what is the email? direct message, oh. my friend told me she's 15, and I, and this is a four-year age difference, it's still illegal, but it's a, it's a four-year age difference, well, was, I, oh, no, 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 look, so, I immediately you know, I took away the message, say, I immediately I took away the message, that there is it's crazy, it's different when there is, I, I, t I do tend to think that girls are, I don't know, maybe it's a little sexist. Maybe it's a little what? Sexist, but I think that they are more... I would have figured that... That... <laughs> I don't know. The same, bro. That if... That, um... A girl probably wouldn't have been able to say no. Oh, well, girls are naturally more submissive, but... Well, maybe that's what it is. And what, where, whereas, if he didn't want to... Like, he said, like, the message on my phone, I'll race you to the technology aisle. And I was like... You know, and I was like, oh my god. You didn't want to run. I did? Uh, you didn't want to run? Huh? You didn't want to run? I'm not that. I know, I like, I don't think it's because you don't have, do or don't have a guilty conscience. I just think like... That's a big problem if you don't want to run. Yeah, it's, no, I'm it. just bad. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, I just... But I would have figured that if he didn't want to go to the restaurant or, or talk to me or whatever, whatever, then he could just very easily would have said... See, but the burden of saying no doesn't fall on the 14-year-old. He's not supposed adult. to say no, you're supposed to say no. A 14-year-old, I guarantee you, man... You know, well, I, I've learned I, to say no within the past few years. When I was 14, I was going along with everything. I mean, I, I wouldn't have, you know, I'm not, you know, I wouldn't be on Grinder as a 14-year-old. I wouldn't, but the thing is, a 14-year-old is always going to listen to an adult, unless he's just like some juvenile. But a 14-year-old is going to go along. It doesn't, it doesn't fall on a 14-year-old to say, no, I don't want to. It falls on you to understand it's wrong. Well, my nephews are very hard-headed, and they don't listen to anything I say. You're it's cool if a 40 year old talks to your nephew. But well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If, if, if someone your age talked to your nephew and wanted to pick them up at 11 and the nephew was sneaking out of the house, what would you feel? Seriously. So you can be honest, man. I would be. Well, I don't think that. First of all, now this is a question that I never. I didn't ask. Um, you're getting asked this. So well, I didn't. Answer. I didn't ask uh, Jack this <coughs> because it, I did. I I, I I thought about it as I was driving. I was like, I, I thought, well, I don't really even know if he's gay. Jesus Christ! What the fuck? And is so, so even more than why wouldn't you meet him? Why would you do? Why would you? Why would, no, but he ran over the question. Like, what if? No, uh, no, no, no. Someone so, tried to talk so, to his like, nephew. if my my oh, true, so as yeah. far as my nephew goes. Oh, so you know I he was think, gay using grinder though. I don't know though. if my nephew is would meet somebody who's forty-two because I don't think he's attracted to me. 
No. Oh my god. What if it was a 40 year, 40 year old woman? Like, will it be cool? No, it doesn't matter if he doesn't like it. You nephew, think it's cool. I, th I know that my older nephew, when he was in high school... I'm just taking off radar. I got PTSD from this. I, I, I just, you're just... <laughs> We're just like avoiding. No, I'm just. But you it can, doesn't you matter. Waiting like, like. Well, the 14 year olds say this. The 14 year olds should do that. No, it falls on the adult. It falls on the person well, over 18 and has to make. Everybody has to make their own decisions in life. Correct. It takes two. It takes two to hang out, doesn't it? So the 14 year olds down, and you know it's illegal. If he it falls on you. If he would have said no. You just you can't blame it on a figure. No, you can't no, blame it on a cat. No, what I was gonna That's say. That's what you're to do. What I was gonna say is if he would have said no, and I even thought about this, if he would have have not, like I was, I was, you know, taking my little shower and everything. Up to you, up to you, up to you, and, up to and, you, leave and, to you. And he, and he didn't message me or anything like that. Then I probably would have just. Right, I messaged, hey, I messaged Rock, you hey, when I was well, I mean, no, the thing woke is. Woke up from my nap. But the thing is, I well, told you after the first I call. I didn't even know. Hey, don't raise your voice. I got this right now. Okay. I told you after the first call that, you know what? I'm going to leave it up to you. You can call me if you want to. And ever since then, so, because the first call was kind of iffy, like, you know what? Maybe yeah. he's just doing it because he feels bad. So, and I was telling the viewers that in the live stream, I was like, well, I don't, maybe, maybe. I didn't know you were doing it. I know you didn't. That's not the point. But the, I was telling the viewers that, like, you know what? Maybe. I was literally telling them, because they were saying, oh, Cash is gone. I was like, not yet, not yet. We're going to see if he calls me again. And sure enough, I checked my phone like 50, 30, 15 minutes later. I forgot. And I see like three missed calls from you, man. And I was like, all right, you're in my domain now, man. So I, I'm going to have to put you on camera for this. Well, I was and you said I can't wait. To I was to wondering them. what you were eating <laughs> or, or what checks. Jack. Three calls to check where you were eating. Yeah, you I mean that you were eating. So I was wondering what you were eating. That and bad? then you said For you wanted to hang calls? out again. And then you and then you said on the phone call, like, I've done this before with a fifteen year old. Well and I, actually fooled he around. Asked, so. He asked me something about um can I sit down I use the terminology? I don't know what Just keep it up PG rated. Okay. Well he asked about meeting somebody and then running you know the pump and dump. Yes. I understand that. But you, as a 25-year-old, at a time with a kid, you have to distinguish between right and wrong. It's it's like you still have that mentality. Like you said earlier, I grew up and had, I don't think you ever grew up because you still have that mentality of blaming it on other people about your decisions. Because ultimately, if the president, say, say Donald Trump gets like a stupid bill, Congress passes something retarded, and is he gonna get punked by Congress or is he gonna take initiative because he's the president, he's the whole, he's the head honcho, you're the head honcho in this scenario because as a kid, are you gonna veto it or are you just gonna go along with it because that's what Congress wants? You have to have some, you have yeah. to have the ability to see what you're right well, and wrong. You I'm, really do. A, I don't think you do. Especially the CPS probably, workers. Prob I mean, I'm more of a bureaucrat. Okay, okay but that's... I, yeah, just, I think you're taking my analogies literally. Like, no, I don't mean no, you're a politician. I just, I, just, I just basically, you know, just keep everything running smooth. Okay, but that's not your place to do that with a kid. That's not... I mean, I understand if, if, if a freaking 25-year-old Jack Tyrone wants to... If you want to put him in charge or whatever... And you want to keep the crap running smoothly, then whatever. But with a kid, you're supposed to know between right and wrong. And you know it's not right to come do this. Well, I don't know if you don't know it's not I, right. Nothing, to me, I have a clear conscience because what I was suggesting was not anything. I understand that, but it's still a crime to meet a minor off the internet. I don't want a crime to meet a minor off You can't think what the law says or doesn't say. Well, I don't know what the law says. Well, well, you know you're not supposed to meet a kid. That's straight up. We're I don't. Teach you I don't. Your danger. I don't. Well, I mean, I don't know and the ins and outs of everything. I understand that. I, I, so, I, I just, but you should still know morally. Why am I meeting a 15 year old at 11, or I'm sorry, 14 year old at 11 p.m. is going to sneak out of his house? That's not the right thing to do. And based on the fact you're your prior history of fooling around with underage kids. Well, that was your, um, your dad. I'm just like, what? When it was, man. <laughs> Bro, I think he's going there. It's like, dude, it's literally like he's taking the, the star test or something. He's like doing reading comprehension. Then he puts the answer like, two plus two equals four. I feel, I feel like a comprehension question. It's just, anyway. I can see why you're off with everything. <laughs> well, I do have. No, we don't want to hear about your disability. I don't care, bro. Okay.
than anyone. You just have to know what's wrong, man. Like, well, well, you let your 14 year old nephew do it. Was, if I was going to do something, he never wrong. answered a nephew question. Yeah, what about the nephew? Man? What about him? So, a 14 year old nephew. All right, run, say, say your 14 year old nephew. Just imagine he's gay. Say he runs it by you, okay? I'm meeting. I'm sneak, Don't tell mom and dad, uh, Matt. I'm meeting a 42-year-old man, and he's going to take me out to dinner at 11 o'clock. What are you going to say? You, you're not going to say it's okay. I know you're not. No. Are you going to say it's okay? No, oh, I'm going to say it's not. Are you going to live? I'm going to say... I'm going to say that it's not... That he shouldn't do that. But ultimately... Oh, my God. He's going to say... Ultimately... Who is it up to? Well, oh, being that you hit him up first... It was kind of up to you. You said no, you were you no, 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 yeah. it is up to okay. my nephew. <laughs> my nephew has to take responsibility for his own actions. Oh my god. That's right, you take responsibility when you're your nephew. That's a 42-year-old man manipulating him. Your nephew. I wouldn't say that. Aww. So you're gonna say if you want nephew, you can go. This guy's more hopeless it's the dance economy, man. <laughs> Dang it. You done? I don't even know. I don't even know what to. I don't even know what to say, bro. I just run out of scenarios, run out of questions to ask. Oh. Uh, like, I just don't know what to say. It's just hopeless, man. I'm just not. I guess the best. Probably you'll find somebody that's better than that. <laughs> it's not about the production quality, dog. It's about exposing child predators. I don't. I don't, I don't make no I money. I've made zero money off this, and I've been doing it for almost two months. Well, I don't care about the money, man. I keep at it. <laughs> but, um, what the fuck is this? It's only gonna. What the fuck is this? Only gonna get oh my god! I was cursing. What'd you say? What the f? Ah, uh, screw it. It's probably only gonna get more. Our society is only going to probably get more. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, it's you know, sexualized. It keeps, it keeps, I understand oh. it's going to get more sexualized, and that's wrong. They're, they want, they want uh, PD zero philia to be a mental, to be a uh, sexual orientation. Hmm. They, people are pushing for that, and that's horrible, man. That's not a. You, I, I don't think you understand. I don't think you understand that a 14 year old can't get sent. I don't think you understand that. I think that if I don't like, I don't think you I don't think being that you texted him first, being that you asked to hang out first, you you act like the responsibility doesn't doesn't fall on you to know that's wrong. The question was Yeah, that's wrong. Actually you just dip. Yeah, we'll dip in front of the finish. Well, is it time to go? <laughs> You can go with everyone, dog. We're not a... Uh, well, another friend of mine actually, you know, was kind of... Oh, there was two. Uh huh? Right. Another friend of mine was actually... And he's even older than I am. He wanted to meet me, so... I guess... They were just know, going, like, around the decade with the age Yeah. Of, uh, <laughs> well, I mean, the first person who met me was... Yeah, well, that's funny. Than I was. What? The first person who met me was much older than I was. Oh, wow. That's just okay. kind of how so it So while you were 18, you wanted some grandpa cock or what? No, I was, I was about 24. <laughs> okay, that doesn't matter! It's freaking, oh my god. It's, it's Is the, it 14? Over 18, under 18. Oh, no, I was over 18. Because, you know, my oh family my was so... Um, <laughs> hey, you can go home now, bro. You can okay. go. You good. <laughs> I can't possibly lift you up oh, off the ground. You yeah, can no, you, 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 you go. You go. You good. Here, you good. <laughs> oh, he, he's not gonna learn. No. Yeah. Oh what the? And what is this? Nine o'clock one on him. Huh? For real? What? Like nine o'clock one on him. What you nine, mean? Nine one. Like we'll go. We gotta go to like the. Let's go get his license plate. No, I have his info, bro. I have his, his license plate too. No, but I, but White Page just tells me where he lives already. I have his number. I, I traced it through there. You heard oh, me? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta go to freaking Gessner tomorrow, dog. Yeah, let's do that it. That guy's not gonna learn. Jesus Christ, what the fuck, dude? Oh my God, he's crazy. Good work, bro. Oh my God. What? <laughs> I don't know, his mind might be messed up a little bit. Are you still 
Yeah. Dude, like... Yeah, we gotta go to Gessner with that one, man. He's done it before. What the heck? This is... He just doesn't... I just... I couldn't even, like, yell at the guy because there's so many WTF yeah. moments with him. Like... Like, I could bring up, like, the English test as an analogy. He's like, well, actually... You I saw what he did when he was like, yeah. well, I wanted to sit there and listen to his story. Oh. I was like, oh, my... God, <laughs> Alfredo, don't don't put the camera on me, but you <laughs> <laughs> get the license plate, right? Nah, right. it was too far. Hey guys, Alex here with you know cat spell it out because demonetization purposes. Today we're in San Antonio, Texas. We were confronting a D, also, can't say the full name, who wants to cuddle and potentially maybe do more with a 14-year-old girl and to, you know, get E, you know. And we will be putting his SoundCloud in the, that he inevitably has in the description below if we find it, which we probably will. So be sure to uh, smash the like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications. It really helps out the channel and enjoy the catch. It's um Okay, all right, cool. Uh, we're just gonna go against this wall right here. Uh, you're not you're not in trouble, but we're gonna have to have a talk with you, all right? Um, I'm good with the talk. Can you talk with me like by my car? That's cool. Uh, no, it's right here, still right here. Still. Yeah, we're not gonna hurt you or anything. Let me like, see the flashlight. Let me see. No, that's, let me that's why we're recording, so we don't hurt you or anything like that. That's, that's cool. the whole point of the camera. So you just want to go near the tree. We're not gonna lay a hand on you. That's while we're filming. Um, I'm just gonna head out. Okay, uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get your license plate. We have your name, everything about you. Dealer, and we're gonna report all of that to San Antonio Police Department, or you can have a talk with us. Whichever one you want to do, man. Hey. Sure. Okay. Right, 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 right. Hey, how do you how do you take licensing on? All right. I'm just gonna have this just for lighting and stuff. And no. again, again, you're not in trouble. So, um, yeah. So what are you here for, man? Um, just to chill and smoke. Just a chilling smoke. Pretty much. What else besides chilling? Nothing else. I'm not trying to do anything. Oh, so she is 14? That's what I was getting the text messages from. Right, 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 right. So you were going to sneak into her window, right? Pretty much. Why were you going to sneak into a 14 year old's window at night? Just the chilling smoke. Just the chilling smoke? So you were going to smoke inside of a house with the 14 year old with her parents around. So let's see. It also. You also were gonna, you said cuddle with her. Yes or no? Um, yes. So is cuddling not to you? No, not really, just holding. Just holding each other? Okay, but um, what happens when you hold a girl in bed? Um, I'm not trying to get in any type of way. I'm just trying to, I was really just trying to chill and smoke. But what, so why'd you say cuddle then? Just the cuddle, hold. Have hold you ever gotten when you cuddle? Yeah. So who's to say that wasn't going to happen tonight? Um, that doesn't mean I was going to push anything forward. So you were just going to sit there and not do anything? That doesn't mean I was going to... As you're cuddling? Yeah. 
Dude, I, just, I, I, I hear the voice. Maybe you could pass off as gay, but you were here to meet a girl to cuddle. <laughs> and the last. Yeah. I mean, dude. Have, so, like you said, like you said, you have gone when you've cuddled before, right? So who's to say that wouldn't have happened tonight? And who's to say you wouldn't be push something on her? I wouldn't ever push anything. If I was gonna smoke and push something with a 14 year old, that would be pretty much Sagittarius. Right, exactly. But you don't think hanging out with her late at night, sneaking into her house, cuddling with her is creepy? That's honestly a dumb. Yeah. Man, yeah. I'd say it's pretty creepy. I'm gonna call you, you know, with the weird. Who could have said it? I'm not. Uh, I'm not, I'm not a... You just do a lot of. You just blaze a lot. Much. All right, well, I'm going to call you Bob's and Vagen Marley. Nice. Right. So, um, you know, doing this, so what was the end game with this? Because you did admit you wanted to sneak in, you wanted to cuddle. Raise the flashlight a bit, bro. Raise it. You yeah. wanted to sneak in, you wanted to cuddle. You can just, I'll just shine it right here. You wanted to sneak in, you wanted to cuddle. So what was going to happen after? Nothing. I was going to pretty much leave and go back home. And would you have texted her again? Probably, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. What would have turned Right, right. What would you have turned into? Um, nothing, just friends. You would have used your. Do you think you could have potentially used, used your dragon balls and slapped it on her face? Yeah, no. I'm not trying to. Does do cuddling anything not lead to that? No. It wouldn't have I, I wasn't going to, like, lead to any. I just have a hard time believing you sneaking into a female. And, like you said. Nothing, nothing going on here is illegal, right? It is just, we expose creeps, and this is creepy behavior. So, nothing. All right, so not, so I just don't believe that you were gonna sneak into a 14 year old house. What if her parents came in and found out? What do you think would've happened? I would've been shit, obviously. Hell yeah. yeah. Right. So would you have told any of your friends that you were going to go meet a 14-year-old just to smoke and cuddle? No. I don't know. Why would you have not told them that if nothing that, was wrong? That's like pretty much my business. <laughs> and like I don't feel obligated to like tell anybody else that. Okay, so what's what's the end goal? Would you have potentially pursued a relationship with her? If she was 18 and older, yeah. Okay, but we're not talking about that. Sure, if she's 18 or older, then I mean, I wouldn't be here right now. But, okay, so what's the end game? You, you text her after today, then you, what, hang out with her and cuddle again? Maybe? Possibly. Okay, so do you think it's only going to stall at hanging out and cuddling? Like, what do you... What do you like, guys? do you think it's only going to be that for how many, until she's 18? No, not no. No. Do you I think would have probably dropped off or something, like probably going my own way. Okay, but then she's going to look back on this years from now and think, oh my god, this creep would always sneak into my house and cuddle with me. <coughs> you think that's just not weird? That's pretty weird. Right, like, have you ever had an ex-girlfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? Uh, I don't have a girlfriend right now. Have you had a girlfriend? Yeah. Do your friends know about that girlfriend? Yeah. So why wouldn't you tell anybody, your friends about this one coming up? She's 14. Right. Was... So you clearly know you're hiding something and doing something bad, like you just said. Yeah. So, I mean, dude, that's degenerate behavior, bro. It really, really is. You know? I mean, that's bad, dude. Like, nobody, sh nobody should do that with a 14-year-old girl. Like, why can't you get anybody your own age? I don't, I don't have anything to say about that. <laughs> what? Go on, man. I mean, have people, have people message you back on Scout? Uh, uh kind of, yeah. Huh? I know, it's like 50-50. Okay, yeah. so, yeah. can you hear it? <laughs> so, like, why haven't you been with any of these other girls? Why the 14-year-old? I don't know, I just, I guess you can say that's a dumb, stupid opinion on my choice. I took this route to come. And that's it. I mean, do you have like some sort of thing for minors? No. Have you ever talked to a minor before? This is like honestly the first time. The first time? 
dude. Like, I hope you know the boat you're in now, because you know what? Probably it is the first time. We we confront a lot of people who say it's the first time. Oh, uh, we you have a YouTube channel. Yes. Nice. And we also confront people that are teachers, bless their students. But guess what? They're all on the channel. <laughs> you're in the same boat as them. Like, you need to get some type of help for this, you know? What do you suppose? I suppose an flipping. Not that I'm going to do it. But I suppose that you really need to look in the mirror and just fix your sh Because you're 23, and this can, you know, this can be passed off as a dumb, dumbest mistake of your life. Some people are too far gone. Do you know you did wrong tonight? Yeah. Now I'm seeing it with you guys here, yeah. How long were you planning on staying here? Not really that long. I kind of got to be home in like an hour or so. Why, why is that? I got work in a little bit. Where do you work at? Amazon. Uh, the Equo, I'm sorry, the girl wasn't going to handle your package by any chance. No, I wasn't looking for that at all. Okay. <coughs> but, um, yeah, so how many people know that you're, like, do you live with your parents? No, I don't. I live with myself and my brother. Does your brother know where you're at? Yeah. Does he know that she was 14? No. Did you tell her you were going to go see a girl? Yeah. You mind giving him a call for us? Just so we can tell him? I want somebody to know, man. Honestly, no. That's cool. <laughs> I mean, do you want me to call him? I can call him and tell him uh, what's up. I'm not going to call anybody. How old is your brother? He's um, he's five years older than me. Does he have a significant other? Yeah. What would he say if he knew about you? Yeah. Yeah, he'd probably like, say, like, you dumb, like, little sh like, he'll be disgraced over me. Right. Right. I mean, dude, a Dragon Ball Z shirt makes you enough, man. <laughs> then to add on to that, you're gonna go. Okay. This is weird. You know what I'm super saying, bro? Come on, <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, okay, man. But honestly, like, that shit's trash. Like, I mean, that is, that is degenerate sh man. I... That's garbage. Oh, are you talking about the girl or Dragon Ball Z? Honestly, both, bro. That's cool. But this is about the girl. But I mean, all of it, all of it's, all of it's trash, bro. All of it's, your actions tonight are trash. And I, I believe you can move on from this, you know? You, you don't, I, I believe you haven't done it before. And, you know, what we do, it's kind of like a big ass fishnet. We're looking for the sharks, you know what I mean? But sometimes we catch a little shrimp like you. True, I'm not really much of a threat. Yeah, you're a shrimp. Yeah. And unfortunately...
like I talk to him sensibly. Of course. Of course. Yeah, no, you're a big old, uh, I guess, gummy bear. Uh, yeah. For sure. Yeah. I don't mean that, you know, I wasn't trying to cause any problem or... Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. A, I'm a nice, decent guy. No, I can tell. Sure. Well, I just want to have a talk with you about it, then, if that's cool. Okay. Sure. Sure. Let's go by the statue. Who's that right there? Uh, is that your friend? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, Keep it under his mother or something. Good boy. Me and Bill? Uh, or the rice Chinese guy? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a delivery driver. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, come on. Let's go and talk over there. All right, I don't, you know, I don't mean that, you know, I, this is, you know, I, this is the first time, you know, but. First time for what? I mean, yeah, it's, well, I, I'm just saying I'm. Uh, As evil grows, well, so shut up. All right, I'm, you know, I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not one of you, you know, I'm not a No, we just want to ask you about your whole thing going on with Trinity, but you can't explain. Oh no, I we we I, she found she she found uh, me uh, which, uh she found me on on the uh, on the yeah I, I have the I have um. Oh, oh, you're, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not trying to pick up the teenager. I just give them the advice. And Minions and have strong. Oh. I mean, not, not to, you know, mess around with a teenager, you know, that's stupid. Okay, so you were just on, like, a teen dating chat room. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so, you know, so and how old are you, by the way? Uh, 47. Okay, okay. You were on a teen dating chat room? Yeah, okay. it's, it's, you know, the teen dating chat on Facebook and... Mm -hmm. And how old is the uh, teen dating chat room? What's the age range there? Uh, 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 how old were you again? No, I'm just. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get out. I mean, look, put it this way. Look, there's illegal immigrants coming into this country all the time. Right? And they're not supposed to be here, but they are. You know, nobody says anything about that. So I'm not really mad at you about that. I'm just wondering, why are you here? Like. Well, yeah, I'm just. You know, uh, you know they, they reach out to me for, you know, I, 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 I try to keep it. Sure, sure. So, what was the point of you joining a team dating chat room? Well, Okay, like what kind of advice would you give them? Well, I went like with a 15 year old. Okay, sure, sure, absolutely, absolutely. Um, so you said they reach out to you, the girl. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, I, I don't, you know. Well, I have your messages here. I, I think maybe most do, but I think in the <coughs> Trinity, you reached out to her first, right? I mean, well, I just added her to my Facebook page. Okay, so, so most girls reach out to you first, but with Trinity, you added her first on here, it looks like. Oh, yeah, I just added her as a friend. Okay, so you reached out to her first in this case. Oh. Right, and you also messaged hi first, right? Yeah. Okay, no, that's, that's totally fine, it's totally fine. So, you know, I, I don't... Yeah, so, so we, we have messages to Trinity, and there's also some other girls that um, we want to ask you about. What are their names? Um, I don't have no clue. I mean, you know, you know I, what I'm I, talking I, about, though, right? I, all I do is just... Okay, so, so what I'm hearing is you reach out to multiple girls, but um, you just talk to them. Yeah, okay. I don't, this, this is the first thing I, you know, you know, I'm truly, you know, I don't, 
want to get myself in trouble. Okay, okay. So, let me get this straight. You talk to multiple underage kids, but you're just being a teacher, pretty much. Yeah, of course. And it seemed like, you know, to me, I'm just, uh, you know, just listening to your phone calls you had with Trinity. It seems like you talked to quite a few underage kids, but just as a teacher, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. No, no, that's, that's fine. I'm just asking about that. Yeah, I just give advice. Okay, so. But I don't, you know, I'm not, I'm not going, you know, I'm not going to go, go put myself in jeopardy to do anything. Right, so you talk to multiple underage girls, like dozens, but you just, you keep turning around fast. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. But am I right when I say that, though? Of course. Okay, so you talk to dozens of underage kids, but you're not a child. No. Okay, no, that's, that's fair. That's just simply. You know what I'm asking you about. I know, and you know, we'll just go through these messages, and you know, like I said, you're definitely not a child. Of course not. I'm just there for advice, and I want to talk about if they can't reach out to their parents or do Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And you know, just like a high school volleyball coach that's 60 years old with no kids just wants to teach girls volleyball, so, kind of like that. Oh, yeah, something like that. Oh, cool, cool, cool. All right, sweet. Nothing, nothing, anything else. Yeah, no, absolutely. Like, when you say a hi here to a Trinity, there's nothing inappropriate about saying hi. Oh, no. Right? Mm -mm. I mean, when you say hi here, do you mean you're high on meth, or do you just mean, like, hello? Yeah. It, okay. It, it, Cause with you, it could be either. H-I, A-T-L-O-R, you know, A-T-L-E. No. Okay, so, so yeah. okay, so 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 this isn't you uh, being high on drugs here, like oh, on a no. substance. Uh, a lot of people say either hello or hello. Okay, so it's it's like a hello. Yeah. Okay. Cool. 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 And then uh, Trinity says, "Hey, how are you?" And you were you, you did understand she was fourteen, right? Yeah. Okay. Cool. And you know she wasn't obviously not the first fourteen year old talked to, but she was very right? Right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I'm just giving. Do you get like community service hours for what you do? Oh no, no I, 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 I just do it on my own free time. Just out of your own heart? Yes. Nice. Exactly. Okay, hey, I like that. Right. That was nice. Okay, so when was the first time you started giving these girls advice? Like not just Trinity, because I know a few years ago or ten years ago. When, when did you start getting on these teen groups and basically being the superhero these girls needed? Well, I just, you know, I, I, I just had, uh, I, I just had, well, yeah, of course, it's a little weird. One, one, guy, one, uh, one guy said, oh, I'm going to be taking the face to a three-year-old. Really? Because you're old? Yeah. Well, really? That, that's what they said to you? Yeah, well, that's what they said Yeah, yeah, okay. And so you're in, so uh, when did you start joining these team chat rooms? Like, how many years ago? Uh, I just, you just scored a lot of them this year? Yeah. Okay. Wow. And, yeah, I mean, your advice, I mean, I think, like, why aren't you, why did they not replace that statue with you? Right there. Why, why did they not replace I don't know. That? I mean, that's probably general, right? They should take it. They don't have to put you there. I, yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, what? Tell me, are we, uh... <coughs> no, we're not close to being done, so okay. I'm still going to ask you. I still got to, because I'm interested to know about your community service. Well, I, I, I guess you would have the goodness in my heart. I know, and, and that, that's what I want to yeah, know. Yeah. There needs to be a spotlight on that nowadays, for yeah, sure. I'm not out to, uh, you know... Right, no, absolutely. So, okay, so you say, it's okay, sweetie, how are you doing tonight? So, I, I do want to ask, why did you refer to a... Uh, I mean, you know, I, I, I can just be out and I don't know. It's a uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, it's, uh, okay. So, it seemed like you were just, um, you asked here, what do you like doing for fun? You say, I'm happy to meet you. Um, it seemed like you double texted here. So, why were you uh, happy to meet her? Like, why did you want to get to know Trinity in this case? Well, as, as a friend, you know, uh, So, you wanted to...
here to uh, just be your friend, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Nothing, yeah, nothing more. So you have a lot of uh, you have a lot of friends like under the age of eighteen that you just you know retail too. I don't know what it is. Okay. Um, then you tell her you're from Dayton, Ohio. Yeah. Right. Okay. Let's see right here. So you're in this team dating, uh, 13 or 16 room. When did you join this one specifically? I'm not. Uh, this year I think so. Okay. So and 13, 16. And yeah. Because you, know. you mentioned earlier it was 13 and tw through 21. So is that like another team group? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So. So it's not just you're so you're not just in the 13 to 16 team group. You're also in the 13 to 21. Yeah. Shut down. Okay, so you're not lying to me when you said it's 21. They're just two separate groups. Right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. I don't want to be able to lie or anything. And what about the other team groups? Because I, I think on the phone you said uh, that was like you said you're other ones. Like you're you're because. It would be kind of creepy if you were just in these two. Like that would seem like you were just targeting. But you're in like, oh, no. oh so you're in a lot of them. Yeah. Okay. I got, I got, uh, the okay. Okay. So you have a lot of team dating groups. Then. It's not just these. Because if you were just in one, I'd feel creeped out. Okay. But, okay. So you're in a lot of them. Yeah. I, okay. I, 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 you know, I, I also got on there that you know I, I put my picture and I just gave the title and, and uh, you know. Okay. You know. And you would you say you're over like I mean that's that's awesome. Um would you say you're in over ten dating groups for teens? Uh or is it about ten? Uh, just about, yeah. About ten groups for yeah. teens. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, because I would have been very creeped out if you were just one because then it's like, okay, that's what a would do. But oh, no. since you're in ten of them, that's okay, that's I mean that's ten times better. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, yeah, I have a I have a lot to unpack here, as you know, for sure. <coughs> yeah, I'm for sure. And this is like a spotlight on community service, of course. Yeah. Well, what could they be scared of? I mean, you know, well, what, what could a teen be scared of? Do you think? Like just on the internet, what do you think? Okay, cool. And you know, uh, she asked, "What are you doing?" And I do not. You said you were sitting here watching TV. And then you said, "No, I'm sorry. I meant to say I'm sitting here watching television." Uh, just for just so I know, can you try to pronounce the word television? Oh yeah. Say the word television. Okay. No, I just want to hear you say that word. Okay. Um, if you ever wanted to come see me, I'm in Dayton, Ohio. Okay, so here you you, you ask her. Um, basically, you ask her if she ever wants to meet here. Is that what I'm getting? Yeah. Okay. So, mm -hmm. okay, so, so to get this straight, you, you didn't want to hang out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Um, Okay, so you, just to get this straight, because I'm just trying to paint a picture here of this local hero I'm talking to. Um, so, by you did you did say you want to meet her before she wanted to meet you, right? This is what I'm getting here. Like you you asked to meet first or brought up meeting first? Is, is that what I'm like seeing? Uh, well, well, I think this one's a yes or no question. Uh, did you bring up meeting first or did she do it? Surely, local hero could take the lead on this one. Um. Well, when you say right here, if you ever wanted to come see me, I'm in Dayton. Is this you bringing up meeting, or is that her bringing up meeting? Here, here's the uh, official review replay here. An ally has been slain. That, that's, that, that's her? That, that's her saying, if you ever wanted to come see me, I'm in Dayton, Ohio? Oh, okay. Is, is that you saying you want to meet first, or is that her saying it?
Okay, so is it you that said you wanted to meet first? If, if this if you, if this bubble said it, is that you saying that? Uh, yeah. Okay. So. okay, so you wanted to meet first then, is what I'm getting here. Well, yeah, I'm just, uh, you know. No, I mean, I know the reason is simply yeah. pure, of course. And, um, but I'm just asking, you did want to meet first, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, then, then you say uh, here, uh, double texture. So, uh, what would you do for Halloween? Like, would you have just given her, like, guns? Or guns? Or, excuse me. Well, well. Yeah, because you said it's on October 31st. Well. Is your gums, like, what flavor is it? Like, meth flavor, heroin flavor? Oh, no. Oh, I'm just asking what you because you it seems like you have a lot of gum to give her. Oh no, nothing like that. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, so you weren't gonna give her. Okay, okay, I got it. Okay, so here you say, "Hi, cutie pie. What are you doing? I didn't knew you'd be up this week. I tried texting you, so good night." So you you call her a uh, cutie pie here. Cutie pie is in the Um, yeah, I everybody has their question. Are, are you a uh, gay or straight? Okay, so you're straight? Okay. So when you call uh, someone of the opposite gender, well, I shouldn't say opposite, there's 52 nowadays. Please excuse me, you two. Um, I mean, uh, whatever. I don't know. You know. Yeah, there's, you know. Um, there's leaves on the tree gender, there's a statue gender, everything has a gender nowadays for sure. But I guess opposite gender as in the traditional bigoted sense, like women. Yeah. Okay, so woman, right? So, when you call a woman cutie pie, like say there was a nice 30 year old woman, you, when you call her cutie pie, that means like, you know, you're kind of giving her a compliment, right? Of course. Okay. It was only a Okay. No, absolutely not. And so I have a question. Um, if there was a fat 350-pound, um, actually, oh, I was, uh, yeah, that's about maybe two or three hours from date. Oh, okay. So she's in Indianapolis. Okay, I have like a hypothetical question for you. Um, do you do you like all women? Okay, there's like a 400-pound fat. Would you like be interested in that? No. So you wouldn't call her cutie pie? No, I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm just asking, would, would you uh, compliment her for how fast she can there? Would you say that, oh my god, she's talking about it. Would you like, say that, right? I mean, I wouldn't. I don't know. Hell no? Okay. So if there was like a 30 year old with nice curves and nice. You would think she's a cutie pie, right? Am I getting that right? Like, for example, would you think they're cute? Like a good looking 30 year old? Oh. Uh, yeah, too old, maybe. No, I'm sorry. Uh, like, 20, like a good looking 20 year old. Would, uh, I feel like I've been sleeping. Well, I mean, I've Yeah, no, no, I'm not I'm talking about that. I'm just saying, would you, would you call someone you find attractive? Uh, Your team has destroyed you? a turret. Uh, Oh, yeah. Okay. No, I mean, it's, it's, I'm not asking you trick questions here. I'm asking you very simple ones. Oh, so, you wouldn't call a 400 pound fat you, right? I mean, I wouldn't. No. Okay, but you would call a good looking girl cute. Yeah. Okay. So, you called her cutie pie here. This. That, that's only a, that was a, you know, a, a question. It's, of... it's like calling her cute, am I right? Yeah. Okay. But, you know. Sure, sure. So, what you just said. It seems like you only call people cute that you're kind of, that have an attraction. Is that what I'm getting here? No, no, physical attraction. No, but just an attraction. Okay, so 
based on you calling your cutie pie here, is it safe to say you had, at least at this point, I'm not saying you wanted to be girlfriend or boyfriend, but you, you were, am I getting right that you're a little bit attracted to her when you call her cutie pie? So you found her a little bit attractive, is what I'm getting here, yes or no? Oh, a little bit. Okay. I wouldn't go any further than the Okay. So you admit that you find that this, and I get it, she's 14, that you find and there's nothing wrong with that, that you find her attractive. Is that what you're saying to me? And that's okay. Oh yeah, but okay. I don't, you know, I, 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 I know the limit for teenagers. Yeah, of course. So you are attracted to this teenager, right? Or at least a little bit, here, I guess. Okay. So you're, you're so what I'm getting is you're attracted to her, but you just want to be friends. Of course. Okay. But you are attracted, but it's just friends. Yeah. Okay. That's all. That's all. You know. That's all. Okay. Cool. Cool. And so with the other girls, you're you're also attracted to them, but it was just friendship. Of course. Okay. But you were attracted to them too. So friendship. Yes. Okay. So it's both, right? Okay. Cool. 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 Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right. And then you say you're 47, and you just told me you're 47 too, right? Yeah. That'd be awesome. I mean, this is the most outstanding moral critic for sure. I mean, when Trinity was about to meet you, did you tell her you don't bite? Huh? Did you tell Trinity you don't bite when she was about to meet you? I'm just wondering because you know. Oh, you didn't tell her? You should have. I think that would have been a nice little pickup line. Um, okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, so you have these uh, these phone messages here. Um, you did exchange phone numbers with her, right? Oh, no. No, I'm saying you, you guys exchanged phone numbers. Uh, you were on the phone with her, so you had a phone number. Right? Okay. So this was you then texting on the phone to her. Am I correct? Your team uh, yeah. has destroyed a turret. Yeah, so it's just interesting. Two little messages here. Uh, just keep it up. Just ones out of the way. So, these are phone messages. And you said, hey, this is a picture of you, right? And this was you texting the whole time to her, like these, like these long paragraphs you sent her about power safety and all that. Yeah. So this was, this was you? Yeah. Okay, okay. <laughs> nice, nice. Gosh, these are a little bit out of order here. I'm such a pe sometimes. Jeez, it's weird. Okay. And this is, this is also uh, you too here, right? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I know, right? I'm a little flat. Huh? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, that's right. And this here, this here is a picture of you, right? Okay. And this is it, this isn't somebody wearing like a Jason and Michael Myers. Okay. Okay. Very bad, right here. You, you sure this isn't you? No. Okay. Okay. All right, and here you sent uh, quite some long paragraphs. You mostly had a conversation with her on phone calls, am I correct? Oh yeah. Okay. And this is a, and this is another picture of you, right? Yeah. Okay. And just to be sure, this isn't. You didn't go to Google Images and type in anorexic Frankenstein and no, find this, no. right? Okay. Cool. And this is actually you. You swear? Okay. All right. And so you sent this to her. This wasn't somebody else. This was you, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Good. 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 Okay. Because if it was someone else, that would be very bad on your part. And, okay, okay, good. Glad this is you. Thank God. Whew. Thank God it's you. Oh, I'm so glad it's you. I'm so glad you're being honest. I mean, God, it was so scary if somebody else was spending all these messages. Oh, my God, dude. You have no idea how much you are helping everything out here. Okay, so... 
Yeah, so basically, your, uh, your, your text messages were, they, they were kind of PG, I would say, for yeah, sure, which yeah. is, of course. And I, and I believe Gumby was a G-rated show. And Gumby, you kept it like G-rated, which is very good. So, here you ask, though, you take up a whole page in this paragraph here. Um, have you ever talked to older guys before, like, not shell? Um, by shell, did you mean self? Okay, can you pronounce the word self, please? Self. Okay, I, I guess that's the way you put shelf then. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I, 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 we talk to speech. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, right, right. And no, I am not like everybody thinks. I am on team chat. The reason why I'm there is because if anybody wants to get in contact with me for advice or etc., I want to talk to please about anything. That's why I'm signed up for it. So, so you're like an volunteer. Okay. Like, so if there's like a marathon going on, you can want to come out. I actually talk to know how to keep them chat to a minimum among teenagers like yourself. So with every teenager you talk to, you kept it to a minimum. Yeah. Okay. Nothing, you know, inappropriate. Rocks. About the rocks. Like yourself. And no, I'm not I'm a father of one child. She's so going to be turning 22 in August of next year. So I'd, I'd set up some 14 chats in case anybody want to reach out for me for reading or advice or so forth. Just to shoot the breeze and go. I'm not talking about or anything that's out of the question. So... Um, you would, wouldn't talk about, but, but on the phone when she had questions about it, you answered those sexual questions. Um, yeah. Okay. I, you know, just, just to, you know, I, I, I'd answer them to a level of the teenager would understand. Okay. So, you did talk about some stuff with these teenagers, but just because you were helping out being a teacher. Yeah. Okay, okay. I, I, I wouldn't, you know, actually do it. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. So, basically, when you, when you would talk about doing sexual stuff, it was just as a teacher. Yeah. So let me get this straight. You, you would talk about doing sexual stuff though with that, but just as a teacher. Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, not to you know, I wouldn't actually physically do that. Oh. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Got you. So, so you mentioned that you you were attracted to the teenage. At least a friend. Okay. And being a friend, you would talk about with these teenage girls you were attracted to as a friend? Yeah. Okay. So let me get this straight. Um, you are talking to teenage girls that you were attracted to, right? Well, I'm about well, I'm is, is that what I'm is that what I'm hearing? It's, that's okay. I mean it's people can see it. Okay. I mean, you know, I, I, I uh, reached out to him and said, you know, oh, uh, don't, don't have to be ready, uh, be back to him, and things of that nature. Well, I don't, I don't think that's what you, at least on the train, that's, what, that's not what you talked about, but that's okay. Um, okay, so just, just to get this straight, you, you did talk about, you did talk about, um, you know, people that are attracted to that are pretty really good. Is that what I'm hearing? So you mentioned when you meet Trinity, which you were here to meet Trinity. Yeah. Okay. Um, so you said you could be a babysitter for them.
start it up so I try to answer them in the sense of the form when we keep it in the Sure, sure. But, you know, I, I, you know that's as far as I'm going to go. Right, right. And you also center these, uh, these, these songs right here that you listen to. You are an REO Speedwagon fan? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I like, I like them too, actually. Um, yeah, so you, uh, you sent for this song, Can't Fight This Feeling. I mean, yeah, that's, that's just, uh, that, that was a, you know, it's a, a general respect kind of right. yeah. section. Uh, you know, it's just a song. And that, and right, and then you sent her the Creed song it with... Don't, it don't mean any... Uh, right, right. No, I know. It don't mean any, it don't mean any meaning. It's just songs that they no, you're, you're, on YouTube. Yeah, no, you're not REO Speedwagon, I know. And then you sent her the song Creed <laughs> with... Arms wide, the center of the creek song, Arms Wide Open. Oh yeah, that's, um, what's this, uh, that, that was, that's just a, um, they're just genuine songs. Yeah, ho hopefully you won't be singing My Own Prison by Creed in a little bit, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, so, these are both love songs you sent her, right? Well, yeah, and it's okay. kind of form that, you know, it's, it, it's just, uh, those are just songs. Right, so you sent this girl that you're attracted to love songs. She, no, she's your teacher. You sent her love songs, and you wanted to meet her, and you said you found her attractive. So I think based on these love songs, at least, to me, logically, that makes sense that you at least, and it's okay, it's okay. Yeah. That makes sense that you wanted to be, a little, it seems like a little bit more than friends. Does this make sense? You send her love songs, no, you're attracted to her. It's, it's you know, out of the sense of, you know, I, I, I don't want right. to, Right, it, know, it just seems like... I don't want to cause any, uh... Right. Any, 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 you know, any conclusions. Or, right, I understand. Yeah. So, oh, okay, so I guess what you mean is, if Trinity wanted to be more than friends, you would have been okay with that, then? If Trinity wanted it. Well, Yes uh, or no? I'd still, I, I'd still, you know, I, I would understand that she's still a teenager and friends only, nothing else. Okay, sure, sure, that's fine. What's that? Now. Okay, turn it off. Alright. Don't, don't turn the phone off, just keep on the call. Who, who is that? Uh, somebody from, uh... The Towers? Yeah. Okay. So, well, I do apologize if I said that my boys have two people suggestions, but they can't kick me off Teen Chat yet. So people try to kick you off Teen Chat? Yeah, they report, they were trying to report me, but I'm still on them. Why are they reporting you? I don't know, because there was one guy that said, you know, oh, I reported you 10 times, because you know, most of them are a, uh, most, somebody, so I bluffed them. Okay. I, you know, I don't. Okay, like, do they tell you why they want to kick you off the teen chats? Because I'm too old and uh, they, they, they think it's only for them. Oh, okay, okay. So I, I, I try to, you know... Well, do you think some of it's because your message... Do they not like that you're messaging the girls, like giving them advice? I don't know what it is. Okay. Wasn't it being a little weird for a little guy being, and if he needs that room for whatever they call it, teen chat group, I mean horny way, I'm going to be there for advice if anybody wanted to talk to me about personal stuff, or just wanted to shoot the breeze and that new order, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so you just wanted to, uh... Yeah, just reach out and just, you know, I don't... Right. And then you hear, you tell her you're not praying, you're not praying on anybody. No. Okay. I, I, of course not. I don't, I, I, that, that's, that's stupid. What's the definition of praying on somebody? Uh... Well, praying is the exception that it would actually be something, but I don't, I, I don't, that's, that, that's stupid. Okay, so, okay, so would you say your messages are, like, would, so people thought your messages were preying on people, but you wouldn't actually do it in person? No, okay. I wouldn't take any action to do that. Okay. Uh, that, I don't want to tell them, I, I don't, I'd be in the, in the damn jail cell where they're under 60 under if I get uh -huh. So people think you're preying on people in those groups? Uh, yeah. Okay, why do they think that? Though? I like, don't what, what? know. It's just, uh, you know, I, uh, maybe they have... Uh, an, uh, do you think it could be because you talk to these girls about... Maybe? Is that what, I mean, from their perspective? I know you're well, not, but... No, it, 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 it's, it's totally legit, you know. It, uh, it's not... Well, the, uh, this 15-year-old, like I told you, uh, likes his 18-year-old. Oh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. And there was quite a few other girls you talked to, right? Yeah, I had a sense of, uh, you know, 
Okay, so let's, uh, let's talk about what you said in the phone call. I didn't think it's that time here. Um, golly, I gotta find them. You know, quite a lot of papers to get through here. Golly. Did they draw? Did I give you those phone call papers? I believe I did. Here, I'll be taking these right here. <laughs> Sweet. Okay, here, let's talk about your phone calls here for a second. Okay. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So how many phone calls did you have with uh, Trinity? I don't remember. Um, too many to count, you think? She'd call me in the morning, or I mean, she, she would be, you know, call me when she can't sleep, and, or, you know, mm -hmm. you know, all kinds, you know, it's just, uh, you know, all kinds of stuff. Right, so I, I gotta ask, uh, why did, on the phone calls, you said, I'd say your phone calls were more graphic than your messages, because your messages were definitely G rated. Yeah. For gums. And, okay, so you talked about uh, her having s*** for the first time and about it hurting. Oh, that, she, she's the one that brought that in. Right, but you said any questions you want to ask about <laughs> sexual stuff, tell me. Oh, it, it was this, it, that was the, uh, out of the, you know, that was, it would be this, that the, um, Um, I don't think of an excuse here. You got it. No, it, it, it's just out of the, the standpoint of the, I don't know. Okay, well, it, it, it's kind of easy, okay. Right? So, I, I'm sorry. So, it, you admitted that you did have an attraction to Trinity, right? Well, yeah, but okay. I wouldn't. Okay. You know, go did, And, and you also sent Trinity love songs. Well, yeah. Okay. Thirty Here seconds to minions. Okay. Love, love songs are just you know. And then, then you're talking to this girl that you're attracted to, that's fourteen years old, that you sent love songs to, about for the first time. So, do you think people kick you out of these, want to report you because of stuff like that? Like, do, do, does it like look wrong to them <laughs> that you're talking about with a? to a girl you're attracted to that's 14 that you said love songs to is that can people do you understand why people would see it that way i mean is that what oh well, yeah some of them might, but I, don't, I, I, I just uh, you know i'll uh, it's all in good it's not gonna i'm not gonna you know actually uh act on it no. right oh okay so you would just fantasize about it but you wouldn't actually do it of course not okay so you'd fantasize about it but you wouldn't actually do it. Of course not. That's but you would fantasize about it? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So you would, since she is attractive, I think she's pretty too. She's pretty attractive, isn't she? I think so. Okay, that's gonna happen, okay. Okay, so, you would, okay, so what you just said, so you would fantasize about basically, and I get you, you would fantasize about having with her, but you wouldn't actually do it. Okay, so so to get this straight, you did fantasize about having Trinity, but you wouldn't actually do it. No. Okay, so it, but did I, what is what I said, is what I said right? Of course. Okay, so you would fantasize about it. But that's, I, I wouldn't... No, it's a yes or no. You, you would fantasize about it. Well, I would, yeah, I would fantasize about it, but uh, I wouldn't think, uh, I wouldn't actually do it. Okay. I wouldn't actually... Hunter never rests. I wouldn't actually... Okay, okay. So, you wouldn't fantasize about it instead of hippopotamus, would you? No. Okay. So, you would only fantasize about people you want to have. a nice girl walking down the street. I can definitely fantasize about her. Okay. So you only fantasize about people that you're attracted to? Yes. Okay. So you just said you would fantasize about Trinity. Okay. So it's safe to say then, based on what you just said, you were attracted to Trinity then. Okay. You just said you fantasize about having sex with her. 
So maybe you guys were just friends. I get that. But you fantasize. But you, but it's more of an attraction than that. If you fantasize, I'm I'm friends with them. I don't fantasize about having that. Maybe him. But um, <laughs> I don't fantasize about having with them. You know what I mean? Of course. Okay. So I only fantasize about having with people I'm attracted to. So by definition. You can only have with people. Can you get yourself looking at a naked man? Okay. You can get yourself looking at a naked woman, right? I hope so. You're not 70. Okay. So you can get yourself looking at a naked woman. Correct? You said you were straight. It's not a hard question. Yeah. Maybe a little bit hard. Okay. So you can get it up looking at a naked woman, right? An ally has been slain. Okay. So, fantasizing about having with someone, that means you have to be attracted to them, right? Yes or no? Yes. Yes? Yeah. Okay. So, so you were, so by definition, you were physically attracted to Trinity. Though you wouldn't have done it in person, you were physically attracted to her, yes or no? Okay. So, let me get this straight. Because earlier you told me you were just attracted to her as friends. But... In a sense of form that yeah, I, I, but I, I wouldn't go in. Uh, oh, so, I, I am attracted to her okay. in a PG kind of way. Okay, so That's nothing, nothing is okay. So no you, sexual content. Right, right. Okay, so you wouldn't have gone farther than friends, yeah. but you do find her physically attractive. Yeah. Okay. So like a hug, you know, kissing the cheeks, but that's okay. Fun. Okay, so, so you would have done that with her. Of course. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But you do think she's hot enough because this you just told me you fantasize about her. Yeah, but I know she's underage and it's against the law. Okay. So, by definition, you were sexually attracted, and I know you weren't going to do anything. You were sexually attracted to this underage girl, even though you weren't going to do anything. Okay. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. And it looks cool. I get it. Anybody who's doing mine does do it. I know. I know. I know. Okay. So, earlier when you told me that you just were attracted to her as a friend, you're just, it's actually, you're attracted to her sexually, but you just wanted to be friends. Of course. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. But, you know, I, I, yeah. I'm not... I get it. Oh, I get it. And, okay, so with this girl that you find uh, sexually attractive, you talked about getting pregnant with her? Oh, that means... So... Well, yeah, there's, there's actually this one... Uh, grew and they, uh, uh, and, uh, they told me to be. That you're talking to? Has been slain. That's gonna be coming in December. Oh, how old is she? She's about, uh, almost, uh, turning to you. Oh, oh, she's gonna come visit you? Well, I'm not sure. Oh, she said she was gonna visit you? Yeah. Nice, nice. Okay, oh, okay, so you could have been girlfriend with Trinity because you're gonna have another girl come visit too. Well, that's what I'm Idea here. No, no. It's just you. You were so you're just friends with both of them. They were both busy. Okay. So with this uh, just friend here that you're sexually attracted to, who's underage, um, you did. Well, okay. I, I do want to ask. Um, we talked about this girl having a dad, and I know that has nothing to do with you. Oh, she had a second dad. That was the, uh, that's what she told me. Oh, and she's the one that sent you a picture and of that, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so she sent you a picture on this photo of her son, your dad? Tell me. That's your father, that's because they broke up. And oh, her and her father broke up. No, the mother and her father. Oh, okay. No, they, they're no longer together, they were trying to divorce. Uh, sure. Oh, okay. So what she did, I thought to me about... Her father, he was her for dinner. Oh, and she sent you, and she sent you a picture of it. So, you mentioned you had a picture of that. Uh, so, which picture do you have of a... Uh... This is the father and her, you know, with... Oh, hugging each other. Yeah. Okay. That's the only one of that. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. okay, no worries. Okay. Okay, and, um... There is the hunter and the hunted. Let's see, you also were just really attracted to, uh, sexually. You talk about... Waiting for the right person to have getting pregnant at a young age. And one thing that one thing that you work on is to be a boyfriend. You guys
got Trinity mixed up with a lot of other girls. Like you would call her other names and do stuff like that. Is that because you're just giving advice to too many girls and you got it mixed up? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. yeah. So basically you're just talking and helping out too many 14 year olds if you got her mixed up with other ones. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's totally fine. And I guess with these other girls, you would also talk about, um, you would also talk about this sexual kind of stuff. Oh, that's, 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 yeah, fantasize, but fantasize. And with these girls, you fantasize about, you know, talking about sexual stuff with them. That's as far as it would go. No, it's, it's yeah, it's right. Okay, okay good. It's they, totally they, fine. They, they bring it up, and I talk about it. Cool, with these girls. Yeah, with these girls, you're attracted to them. Okay. Um, then he called the decoy pupil pupil sign. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, her name's Trinity. She called herself a decoy for sure. For sure. Excuse me. Um, says talking is that question, but you did get sexual. Okay. So you mentioned you're not preying any on anybody. You're just here to be that teacher. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So there was also. You remember when Trinity brought her friend friend on the phone? Oh yeah, that was uh, to, um, the the ten year old, right? Oh uh, yeah. Okay. That was uh, um. um to explain to a 10 year old in a PG way. Also, that 14 year old girl is also going to visit you, you said, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, and here's the, here's the Creed song you sent her with arms wide open. Oh, yeah, it's just a song. It's, you know, just... Yeah. You like the band Creed? Yeah, I like Yeah, Oh, okay. And I guess with this 14 year old, you teach her like sexual stuff too, and all that. Teach her. Yeah, this 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 ally has been slain. Right. And you also fantasize about this 14 year old girl right here, but would never do something with her in person. Oh no. Okay, but you fantasize. About her. Yes or no? Right. 
Okay. So, so your, your fantasies are R-rated. Your fantasies are R-rated, but your actions are PG-rated. Okay, so you have R-rated fantasies. I'm not, I'm not going to act on something. So, so you have, okay, so you have R-rated fantasies, but would never actually do it. No. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. So, what are some of these R-rated fantasies you have with this whole thing you're Just regular? about the chat, I'm just talking about your fantasies with her. Oh. Is it just like all that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes, no, I, I, in my mind, I, I, I didn't do that with her. Uh, right. Uh, right, so you think about having to do that, but you wouldn't actually do it. No. You think about having to do that? Oh, yeah. I, I, would you would, okay. I wouldn't actually have to do it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So just to lay the groundwork. Okay, cool. Yeah. And then uh, you sent a you sent a Brian Adams video uh, music. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, Please forgive me. Yeah, I like I like Brian Adams. Yeah. yeah. I like the song Heaven by Brian Adams. Oh yeah. You're probably not going to hear that when you die though. You're probably going to hear <laughs> hell, hell by. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, and I like the song Run to You by Brian Adams too. I was actually playing that on my iPad. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna run to you. Oh, yeah. When the feeling's right. Yeah, you know, I can't stop. But, but. trying to meet her today, of course. Um, What's your favorite Aria Speedway song? Oh, I, uh, uh, I, I, there's no good Okay. Okay, so, basically, so, now you were gonna now you were gonna meet her in person today, right? and again, this is somebody that you had fantasies about having a with, but just fantasies. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Let's talk to some sexual stuff with. Yeah. Let's talk to that. You know? So, when she were to get here, you said, and I quote, you're gonna show her the boyfriend girlfriend experience. So just by that alone, does that mean that in this case, you want it to be more than friends, or at least when you were here with her, it was going to be more than just friends, because you said the boyfriend girlfriend experience. Well, that was that, that, that was you know, you know, you know, and, and things like that. Yeah. That was what friends do. Well, what? so what's the difference between a friend and a boyfriend and girlfriend? Because what you just described is friends. I mean, friends talk to each other. Okay, so why'd you say boyfriend and girlfriend? That's more than friends, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, but you said, what I feel inside of you, that'll be the boyfriend girlfriend experience. Wow. What I feel inside of you? Because you talked to me. Gun is okay. stuck in on a gun. Is, okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, uh, I, 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 you know, I guess, you know. Okay. So, I just think it's just something that what, when did she tell you that's what she wanted to hear? She just said, what's the girlfriend experience? Oh, okay. Yeah. And, and you told her, what you brought up the boyfriend girlfriend experience first, right? I believe You brought up the boyfriend girlfriend experience first, right? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. So she didn't ask about that. Okay. But I, 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 I just wanted. I get it. I, I don't. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Yeah. She was cute. She's cute. You have thoughts about her. Having... I get it. Of course. Okay. I wouldn't. And and then you put it on words right here that you want 
that what you're gonna that you're gonna be inside her, and that's the girlfriend boyfriend experience. So this girl, you had fantasies about having. You know what I fantasize about? I fantasize about ten baked potatoes loaded with brisket up to here. You know what I mean? Okay. So what you fantasize about is it's gonna be right in front of you today. Trinity, okay, so she's gonna be right in front of you, and you talked about sticking it inside her. Is, is this what it says right here? Sticking it inside her, what I feel inside you do? Is this putting your for yes or no? What I feel inside of you? No, no, no. What's, what's what I feel inside of you? Well, it's, 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 could it be kissing? Could it be maybe touching? No. Am I right when I say any of those? Oh, uh, yes. Okay, so it was sexual then. Okay. But it wouldn't, you know, I, I... So, so, she's cute. I don't blame you. I don't blame you for wanting that. I, I, yeah, I don't know what I would do. So, but, but, but you told her... I know I, I, I know I said all that, but okay. I, I wouldn't act on it. Okay. So, meeting her... You were acting on, you said you were going to meet her, right? Yeah. And you were going to meet her, weren't you? Yeah. Okay. So, this boyfriend-girlfriend experience, this is, you were going to follow through with that too. Because you were there. You said you were exactly where you said you were going to be. And I get it. She's cute. It's okay. Yeah. That doesn't make you a Oh, no. Okay. So, look, look at me. Look at me. The boyfriend-girlfriend experience, sticking something inside of her. That's different than teaching, isn't it? Or, oh, I see. You just wanted to teach her in person, is what I'm getting. No, not, 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 not the uh, standpoint of because the nerves are not Well, she said something about. Uh, oh, there were two girls in danger. I think she's the one that brought it up for the cucumber with the film. Sure, so. That's exactly what I was thinking. No, no, it, yeah. yeah, she exactly. might have brought it up, but, yeah. but she was basically these messages here. And so, okay, so so she was okay with the boyfriend-girlfriend experience. You would have been okay with it. Yeah. Okay. She brought up the one with the cucumber sure. and the condom No, on no, it. I get it, but that's and not what you're talking it, about here. Yeah. No, I, I sure. said, that I just, I, I uh, tried to explain, well, what, uh, think back to one of you in class about what the cucumber was. Okay, cool. Exactly. That, uh, cool. Cool. Right, but this is different than what you say here, uh, feeling yourself inside you. So basically, you're talking about her bringing stuff up. So if she would be okay with the boyfriend girlfriend experience, based on these messages, based on you fantasizing about having other girls, if she was okay with it. And look, when I have my fantasy right in front of me, I'm sure it's all going to go for it. I'm sure it's all going to go for it. Okay, so if she was okay with this boyfriend girlfriend experience, you would have probably agreed with it, yes or no. If she was okay with it. I, well, if she was all right with it, that's what I, I, I don't want to, you So know, she consented. Yeah. If she, okay. If she would have, no. Okay, so, so she consented. But I, if she said no, if she would have said, right. Yeah, I, right. I, 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 that was far, that, okay. that would be the end of it. So if she consented to this boyfriend girlfriend experience of you being inside her, then she, she's okay with it, she's cute, she's hot, you're about doing it, yeah. then you would have done it. If she was okay with it. Yeah, if she was okay with it. Okay. I, 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 I try to, you know... Match. Right, consent's a big thing for you. Yeah. Right, sure. Okay, so to get this straight, if, if so to get this straight, if she was okay, you would have it. Because it's a boyfriend girlfriend experience. If she was okay with it. Yeah, she, she, she would have consented. Okay, so so you're telling me if she was okay with it, there's a possibility you could have had if she's, she, since she was okay with it. Okay, so, so, yeah, so you would have Sure. 
No, 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 I don't need to hear anymore. So, so, so you like underrated girls. You fantasize about them. You even came to be one today. Well, she's okay. 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 No, I get it. I get it. So, when they call you a here, is what you feel under that definition? You feel like having them. You fantasize about it. You do all this. Is it? Is this? Is she wrong when she calls you it's on your own definition? I don't know. You feel like you like underage kids. That's, that's what you just told me. I, I, I like Shut them. down. You fantasize about them. Okay. So does that make you... No? So what's... 
Well, you were there on that corner, and you said you were going to her. She was okay with it. Is that on action on it? Is it fair to say that when she calls you here, it's she's right? Yes or no? Okay, so are you I mean uh, I'll start your sometime. I'm not.
perspective for you. Do you agree that you're a now that I tell you like it is? Crazy when she calls you, or does she have a reason, or do, do you see where she's coming from? Um, Which one is it? I'm not, I'm... Brandon in Phoenix, how are you? Yeah, hey Matt, how are you? It says here. Can I can I mention what the call screener note was? Yeah, go for it. Brandon wants to present evidence of God and guarantees this will be the best show ever if his call is taken this time. Wow. Wow. Well, we're, we're in awe, man. Go for it. Well, I, I cede right. the floor. Let me start by uh, just kind of uh, uh, to, to stage things. Let me ask you if, if for example, I had uh, buried $30 million worth of gold and I approached you with a proposition that if you help me dig up this gold, which I've stamped to prove that it's my gold, it's got my name on it and all of that, and I guaranteed you that you were going to get 30% of the take for helping me uh, dig it up, would you want me to draw up a contract to our agreement? Yes. Now, why would you want me to draw up a contract? because it has legal protection in the case that you try to screw me on the deal after. So basically, I mean, in short, so that the story doesn't change after we dig up the gold, right? I, I suppose you can phrase it that way, sure. But the real the real thing is, I'm not as concerned. I, can't come back I only told you 5%, not 30%. Sure, yeah, okay, well, that's a version of the story. I'm just saying that I would do it because there's legal protection there to keep me from getting screwed. Right. So, but, I mean, but before I grab a shovel, you're going to have to actually demonstrate that the gold's real, because I'm just going to, you know, but, you know, it, basically, I would probably also... Well, that was my also... point, is you have no idea if I actually buried anything, so you'd kind of have to take my word on faith. No, 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 because the contract... I actually buried... No, 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 I don't have to take your word on faith for anything, because the contract would be written in such a way that if you have 30 million in gold, and you're going to give me 30% of it, well, let's just say 10 million to make the math e easier, you got 30 million in gold, if I help you dig it up, uh, I'm going to get 10 million gold. What's going to happen is you're going to guarantee me payment of 10 million dollars for digging X amount because I'm not just going to keep digging holes with you forever. We're going to there's going to be a description of what the actual job is and what the payment's going to be and an agreement. It doesn't matter then whether or not you actually have gold because I'm either getting my money or I'm going to take everything you've got suing you afterwards for breach of contract. And now I don't I mean, have to you're, believe you're your story. Smart, you're a smart business guy, and I mean, I would like to state that, uh, you know, intellectually, I think you absolutely dwarf me. If, if well, you and that I took doesn't, an that IQ, doesn't matter. I, I mean, think you would you would absolutely have a higher IQ than I do. So, but I, I don't care I feel about like IQ. The one thing I've got on my side is actual wisdom okay. being in the truth. And and see, so I would say that I would say that wisdom. Conversation. I would say that wisdom is exactly the sort of thing that would make you design the sort of contract that I'm doing. Because wisdom um, is about lessons learned and having an understanding of reality. That would be wisdom. IQ doesn't matter. You could have, you could have 80 points lower IQ than me, but if you've learned the lesson about how to not get screwed, you can still write the same contract. So it's, 
I would say that is wisdom. Right. Wouldn't you say it's a wise contract? The contract is simply that, you know, we put things in writing so that the, that the words can't change. So that's, you know, kind of why, you know, the Old Testament and the New Testament is also referred to as the Old Covenant and the New Covenant. Yeah, it's that's curious, kind of it's curious that... That's kind why, go ahead. you know, the, the God that I'm trying to prove, why he put everything in writing is so that the story can't change. How do you know God put everything and in writing? And why did he need to amend it? Well, as far as, I mean, he, he, the, the purpose of amending it is, I mean, uh, ultimately in the Old Testament, he told the Jews that I bring you a curse this day, that the law is a curse to them. So, and this is also why Jesus said salvation comes through the Jews. He's going to use these people who, you know, went with Moses out of Egypt. I don't, the I don't need stop the preaching and, yeah, and move, I don't, move I don't to the need, proof of God. Yeah, you know, we, we complete. So first of all, you're supposed to be presenting proof of God. Um, and second of all, this notion of we write things down so that it can't change, that's, that's separate. Um, but Well, I'm going I'm to I'm come back, I'm going to circle back around to that. So, but, oh, uh, I guarantee you're going to do a lot of circling because it's already, a, you're, you're beginning with essentially a circular argument that we need to rely on the Bible uh, because it is the words that were written down so it couldn't change. And yet the issue is, uh, how do you know that anything in the Bible is true and accurate with respect to what you're going to claim about God? Well, I mean, let me start here as far as, you know, I mean, all uh, over 75% of all scholars and, and historians can agree that Jesus of Nazareth was a real person. Well, okay, so first, first of all, 93% of all statistics are pulled right out of somebody's ass at the time that they need to use them. But the percentage of, the percentage, the, the, per, the percentage of people who believe that Jesus was real is irrelevant to whether or not he was real. And even if everybody believed that Jesus was a real person, that doesn't mean that we have evidence that he was divine or God. I believe there were lots well, of I, real yeah, people. But I agree. I mean, as far as okay. you know, that's not proof yet. That so you're, every, you're relevant. everything you said is irrelevant to the point of demonstrating that a God exists. That's my point. I pity what you Okay, well, I mean, and, and we do know that he was, he was crucified. Well, we know that the, that the Bible claims that he was crucified. It's not that we have any evidence of a crucifixion outside of the Bible. Well, we don't even have any evidence. So modern we, scholars we don't, all agree. We, that, you know, we, I don't. We oh, have Brandon, Brandon, Brandon. Oh, my crucified. God. No, we don't. No, we don't. And modern scholars don't actually agree on that. What they agree is there are stories about this. The truth is we have no contemporary accounts of any event from Jesus' life at all, which is why there are some people who think this is entirely a myth. I'm not making that argument. But if you're just going to come on here and say, oh, 75% of scholars agreed that he was a person, and all, most modern scholars agree that he was crucified, um, none of that matters. Because I'll, let me let me just concede, for the, for the sake of this argument, Brandon, let's just assume I believe Jesus existed and was crucified. Okay. And I, then, I, I you, don't actually I mean, believe I that's your, the case. Your debate that you uh, did between uh, Bart Ehrman and Bob Price. So I mean, I wasn't Bart involved Ehrman, in that. I, I mean, I sat. They had the debate. I'm saying, for the purposes of this discussion right here, let's just pretend that I believe that Jesus existed and that he was crucified. Neither of those and, things. And we, neither. Neither of those have any relevance, any bearing on whether or not there's a God. Well, I mean, you know, but he claimed that he was God, and that's why he was so God. what? It, okay. okay I agree. Were, I mean, were, Brandon, so Brandon, claim, but Brandon, they, were there other people who were killed for, for heresy? Were there other people who went around claiming they were sure. God? Okay. So sure. were those people God? No. Okay. So isn't that, doesn't that mean this is irrelevant, that somebody claimed they were God and were killed for it? Well, I mean, I'm, I'm getting to that because, see, I mean, God did something very... You, you've got to get to it a lot better than, than just starting... You've got to get to this a lot better than just starting with a parade of things that are relevant. What is the proof okay. for the evidence that God exists? The proof that he did, the, the proof that he provided us to prove his claim that he was God is, number one, prophecy in the Bible. And then number two is the fact that, you know, I mean, the, the works that he did, the miracles that he did that convinced all of these other people that, I mean, this is, you know, not a normal person can't do these things. A normal person I agree. Just I agree. Dead. I agree. Now, please demonstrate that he actually did any of the things that are reported. 
Well, I mean, if you, uh, you know, for, I'm going to just going to give you the elevator version. Why don't you give us the best one? Why don't you give us evidence? Because it says here that you're going to present evidence. And you presented nothing but claims. So present evidence. Do you even know what evidence is? Yeah, um, let me get there as far as, uh, you know, we do know the scholars all agree that the book Jesus of Daniel Christ. was written between 603 and 606 B.C. That's when that book was written. And in this, it was given the prophecy that, that the Messiah, Jesus, was going to come uh, and, and enter into the streets of Jerusalem. That's false. In exactly that's false. 600 or that's 483 false. years. That's, Brandon, that's false. It doesn't say Jesus in Daniel. Uh, well, it says the Messiah. Okay, but you said the Messiah, Jesus. You, you are dishonestly injecting Jesus into a potential prophecy here because you've already concluded that he does this. But if a book says our future Messiah will do this, does that mean that later on, if somebody does that, that they are in fact the Messiah? Well, I mean, as far as I mean, it's pretty accurate as far No, that's not what I'm asking. Daniel. I'm not asking. So here's a statement. Somebody makes a statement about a future event. If later on that future event comes true, what, what does that tell us about the prophecy? Uh, that the, the, the uh, prophet was absolutely true in what he was saying. It tells us it tells us that they said something which came true. But does that mean that the prophet actually predicted this? Did they knowingly set up a scenario that they knew was going to happen? Well, I mean, in the book of Daniel, the, the angel Gabriel came to Daniel and said, in 483 years, the Messiah is going to walk through the gates of Jerusalem and will be recognized as the Messiah. And then, I mean, and that's exactly uh, 173,880 days. So, so let's and say... the day let's, Jesus entered into Jerusalem... So, so let's say... Jesus Christ. Let's say that three days before Jesus entered Jerusalem, assuming that's actually what happened, uh, did somebody have access to the book of Daniel at that time? Absolutely, the Jewish people. They're yeah. historians. That's why God used them. So if I go in to a restaurant and I order a steak medium rare, and I get a steak that's medium rare, have I made a prediction and the waiter fulfilled prophecy? Well, I mean, that's a prediction. That's something, you know... Pro Pro prophecy, prophecy is a prediction. and prediction are two different things. No, they're not. Things that are different. No, they're not. The same. They're not the same. Prophecy and prediction are, are, are synonyms. You are saying this is going to happen in the future, and then it happens. They once Absolutely. We're talking many, many years in the future. Though. What, what I mean, difference does that make? The person that made the prediction died before the thing you... I'll tell you. I'll tell you exactly what, what difference it makes. It means that there were 683 years for people to actively work towards that goal, knowing it was going to happen. If I say one year from today, somebody is going to give birth to a child, and they are going to name it Matt is Awesome. And a year to the day from now, somebody actually names their kid Matt is Awesome. Was that prophecy being fulfilled? Or was that somebody well, saying, the hey... He said that, it, that he would be called Emmanuel. They gave him a, The prophecy yeah. gave him Jesus. <laughs> yeah, a not Jesus, right? Not Jesus. In the New Testament, he's not referred to as Emmanuel. The meaning of Emmanuel is God with us. To another way to oh prove goodness. that Jesus is God as he claimed. So, that's what, we that's have, what he said. We, he, he, Jesus that's why Christ. they killed him. We have a number of big problems here. One is that you believe everything in the Bible. The Isles remember. Uh, uh, well, let me just say this. As far as I believe that the King James Bible is the only real Bible that fulfilled the prophecy given in Psalm 12. And I'm assuming you're talking you about the... the, the I'm, I'm, assuming, I'm assuming you're talking about the 1611 AV version only, right? Correct. The the standard authorized Cambridge edition Bible. Well, that the standard authorized Cambridge edition may not be the exact same thing as the 1611 authorized version, is it? Well, I mean, it's it's that, that's better, the better, real Bible. Get your story straight. Thing, you can take all the other Bibles and trash them. Sure. Even the Bibles that that was based on, that the interpretations came out of, even the Masoretic text and the Septuagint, you can chuck chuck those in the trash. We'll see what about the Dead Sea Scrolls? What about the Dead Sea? What about the what about what about the Dead Sea Scrolls? You gonna chuck those in trash too? 
Absolutely. Okay. As far as, you know, this is where... Uh, so, so Brandon, we're done. Brandon, you're, Brandon, you're, Brandon, you're a cartoon, man. Brandon, we're done. You have a ridiculous position. You have a ridiculous position. Here, no, 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 I'm not holding on. You're holding on. You're on hold right now. I might bring you back. I might not. In 1611, a new version of the Bible was translated from a number of different texts. And your thing is... We can toss out all those things that it was based on and just go with this one. As if the Lord himself spoke English. As if these people who translated it have even a fraction of the understanding of the ancient languages and the context of the time as modern scholars do. That makes no sense. This is you not just cherry-picking from the Bible, but cherry-picking the Bible. Well, I, I, mean, I don't mean to, I'm not trying to cherry pick. I understand your point. That's a good point. I'm just saying that, you know, I mean, obviously, God, if God is God, then he's capable of speaking any language that he wants to. Sure. He's a, isn't he also so, capable? Isn't he also capable of uh, revealing himself to all of us right now? He has. This is the point. This is where I'm. No, he hasn't. To. God he has, has never. Revealed. God has never revealed himself to me. I can say that with confidence. Well, I mean, he's not going to physically reveal Why not? To you. Can, can he not do that? Be because of our nature versus... Can, can he do that? Can he do it or not? Uh, without destroying you? No. <laughs> then, then how did he reveal himself to anybody else? How did he... Uh, how did he w w explain the Damascus Road experience? Isn't that a revelation directly to Saul? Absolutely. And, as far as and it didn't that, destroy him, did it? This is the you know, Did it destroy him? You know, those are chosen vessels and did apostles it, did it, have a specific... Okay, look, oh my God, you're just making all kinds of excuses. I said, can God do this? And you said, not without destroying you. And then I pull up an example where you have to believe, because it's in your book, that God revealed himself to somebody without destroying. And now you come up with a post hoc rationalization that he was a chosen vessel. Can God make me a chosen vessel? Of course, I think he has. Why hasn't he? If you actually, if you actually, wait. So, well, then we're back. No, 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 no. no. For one. No, no, no. Why didn't because, he do it? <laughs> because now you just said that you think God has made me a chosen vessel, but you said that God couldn't reveal Himself to destroy without destroying me. And then when I asked what it would take, or I said, why could it happen to Paul? And you said, because he was a chosen vessel. So if I'm a chosen vessel, then clearly God can reveal Himself to me without destroying me, right? So the answer to my original question was yes, He can. In his, yes, sure, of course. I mean, and yet he has you were the, you know, If you were to be an apostle, which their job is, our, their function has already been served, it's done. And so apostles, apostles have to believe before the revelation? No, I mean, but see, okay, so then, apostles so, are different from no, apostles. No, no, Brandon. As far as, Brandon. they set down doctors, Brandon. prophets tell Shut you. Shut up! You, you're not following this. You said I'm a vessel. And that God can reveal himself to And then when I say, why hasn't he? You say, it's because I'm not an apostle. And I'm asking, do you have to be an apostle before that you get the revelation? And your answer is no. So it's irrelevant to why I haven't received the revelation yet. Don't you think that if God make, considers me a vessel and reveals himself to me, that perhaps I might become an apostle? Well, uh, no, because I mean, the, the apostleship is already done. There won't be any so, more apostles. So then God can't reveal himself to me because I can't become an apostle, right? Well, no, no, no. He, he has revealed. He, he no, he hasn't. Here no, he hasn't. Right now. See? Brandon. Jesus. Brandon. Sorry. God has not revealed himself to me. Period. Full stop. Well, let me explain how he's done this, except you just don't see it yet. Oh, oh my God. Brandon. 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 <laughs> Brandon. How can it be possible that something has been revealed to you and yet you don't see it? That the, the process of revelation intrinsically includes the recognition of the observer. That's, this is something different from, hey, there is evidence for something and you just haven't seen it yet, versus I have revealed this evidence to you and you don't see it. So, I mean, have you ever, you know, like lost your glasses or something and they're just sitting oh. right in front of your... What's one more grave? Goodbye. An ally has been slain. I'm, I'm constantly disappointed about these folks that say, hey, I've got proof of God, and they come on and nothing. Have you lost your glasses? <laughs> yep. There's and you know what found them? <laughs> Looking for the glasses. <laughs> when it was revealed to me what their location was, by my eyes and my searching, not by some external spirit, I found my glasses. This, this sort of nonsensical, simplistic, you know, 
Hey, I, I lost my glasses. I prayed for help, and then I found my glasses. Okay, so what did the prayer have to do with it? Yours is an easy... Well, didn't Jesus uh, prophecy that he'd be uh, returning <laughs> within a generation? Hmm. Not necessarily to put a time frame on it, but he said there are some standing here uh, who will not taste the death until all these things have come to pass, which can be interpreted that way, and it can be interpreted another way. I'm pretty sure there's a quote where he says within a generation. Well, there, there are things about that within, within this generation, but that... Okay. It's all subject to interpretation. It's a big mess. Uh, it's a big mess. But at the end of the day, this notion of prophecy, I've already done a video on prophecy. We've already talked about it over and over again. Um, the fact that the book of Daniel says something that you look at events later and interpret them as if they fit that. Uh, I tell you, what, instead of calling the atheist experience, they call the Jewish experience yeah. and explain to them why they're wrong to not recognize Jesus as the predicted Messiah. Uh, because they believe in the prophecy. I don't and you think the prophecy's been fulfilled, and they don't. So when the two of you sort out what, what's the actual truth about prophecy, then call back. It hurts. And when you get atheists and Jews to say, yes, we agree this is prophecy, and it was fulfilled, but we still don't believe in Jesus. What? The Isles remember. <laughs> you are beyond saving. Welcome to the Atheist Experience. We are live. Today is Sunday, April 28th, 2019, unless you're watching this in the future, in which case it's whatever date it is then. Uh, I am joined today by two people I've been anxiously anticipating getting on the show. Uh, and, and prior to today, we largely only knew each other online, although you and I had met at once when I was in the UK. So this is the UK edition of the Atheist Experience. For the record, uh, the Atheist Experience is a product of the Atheist Community of Austin, along with eight other programs, building a community, building a network, and you should be down here at some point, like all the people on the other side of the glass who have come from all around the world to watch this show live. Uh, the building is packed to the rafters if it had rafters, but it doesn't. Uh, I'm going to let you guys introduce yourselves so that I don't screw it up, but thank you guys so much for being here. We'll start with you. Well, thank you for having me. This is a literally a dream come true. Uh, when I first started making YouTube videos, because my name is Rationality Rules, in case you don't know, um, I make YouTube videos in which I debunk religious arguments and just pseudoscientific arguments. And when I do so, what I try to do is show the specific fallacies that people are using and then show how they would not accept those fallacies or those fallacious ways of thinking in areas where they're not so emotionally attached and then show that it's not okay for them to do it where they are emotionally attached. Um, when I first started YouTube, uh, the Atheist Experience was absolutely the first thing I watched. And so to be here is incredibly surreal. So thank you very much for having me. My, 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 my pleasure. Yeah, I'm Cosmic Septic, uh, apparently. <laughs> That's uh, not going away anytime soon. Uh, my name is Alex O'Connor. I run a YouTube channel called Cosmic Skeptic. Uh, likewise, it's it's absolutely fantastic uh, uh, to be here. Really excited. It's, it's a totally... I was on Talk Heathen earlier. Hey, everyone. So some of you may be aware of my flatter... And I'll use the same terminology you've been using. In your simple mind, you think because they're all material, therefore they're all related. Couldn't that not yeah. be of common design? You know, all the yeah. cars on the highway have metal in them, iron. Does You're just using the exact same analogy. You're, why are you talking about cars? They're not biological organisms. This okay. is not a valid there analogy. Oh, You're geez. saying that they're yeah. something yeah. and therefore everything is designed. No. Adding biological yeah. ability to reproduce makes it a billion times more complicated. Yes. Do you know what a paternity test is? Do you know what a paternity test is? Uh, you asked for 
Here is a tree of life used in the textbooks that shows humans and arthropods and worms coming from a uh, single cell or sponges. Do you believe we all came from sponges, Dave? Do you believe this textbook is right? You do, okay. How about this one? Humans and trees and reptiles all came from a protist. So if it wasn't an amoeba, did we all come from a protist? Do you believe that? Is this textbook right? Uh, I believe it may have been some kind of protist, yeah. Okay, okay. How about this one? Humans and birds and uh, mosquitoes all came from, oh, look at this, and worms and snakes and sharks. All came from, let's see, an amoeba. There it is. Do you believe an amoeba turned to a dog? That's my original and question. The amoeba is not at the root of the tree, and no, it's not saying that amoeba turned into a dog. Into a dog. Okay. You Let's are mystery of science, and okay. it's the don't want... All you're Wait, saying is I don't thing. understand Hold it. it. It's true. That's what you're doing. The last thing I want to do is mischaracterize science. I think you are misrepresenting no, that's science. What you, that's your M.O. That's what you do all day long. That's all that you do. That's when all you say, that I do. Oh, don't turn into yeah, princes. You're mischaracterizing science. Okay. Okay. Let me make it very simple for you. If you like to make things simple. This chart shows humans and mosquitoes coming from a protista. Did the dog come from a protista? If it wasn't you me, but already I'm sorry. did this nine times. You can say all, all, all because animals and all plants. You're not answering the question, Dave. Dave, you're not you're answering just asking the same question 18 times. You can is say the dog, dog that come, works, and then any right animal the you want. Yes, they're all needed. The answer is yes. Okay, good, fine. What's so the, problem? the dog. I'm, try, I'm trying to make a point here now, Dave. The dog came from a protista, is, and a protista is not a dog. So you said that I will always say dogs produce dogs, and you say that's not what science says. That's not what evolution says. Of course, dogs Aren't always produce dogs. Aren't they both eukaryotes? Why didn't they? Why didn't Aren't the they both eukaryotes? Why didn't the protista keep producing protista? It did. It did. Did you not know that there are many protists in the world? Yes. Do you not know that they have lines on this paper connecting the people to the protista? So you what? see the lines on the paper, son? They've connected a line from a human to a protista. Yeah, so all I'm hearing from you is that you don't understand it, so it's not true. Why, why is that not true? You're just saying that you don't understand it, so it's not true. What's the point? I don't understand it, so it's not true. I don't believe this for a sec. I think it's retarded to believe a protista turned to a human. Now, what so I don't believe that, that's fine. No one says that. See, you, that's you, you just characterizing it. You said protista turned into a human. You think this chart is right. Over... Dave, over two billion years, Ken. Oh, Over so, two so years. okay, okay. So instead of a kiss to turn the protista to a human, it took billions of years. That's your new magic yeah. ingredient. What's if wrong you, with that? If you kiss the protista, it won't do it. But if you wait billions of years, the that's what you're doing. You just try to mock it. You say, "Ooh, kiss and tornado." It's stupid. This is what you do. I you am just mocking it because it is stupid. It is stupid you, to believe a protista you, evolved to a human. What? Based on your incredible expertise that does not oh, yeah. exist because you have no education whatsoever? Is oh, that okay. what you're Here we go with the, uh, uh, okay, I'm a kindergarten dropout, okay? But I don't yeah. think anybody's ever seen a protista produce a non-protista. Where's and the example? Evolution does not, wait, what do you, wait. Wait, evolution is not saying that it must. What are you saying? This chart came from an evolution textbook, and it shows the protista turning to humans, gorillas, They're uh, eukaryotes. Plants. They're eukaryotes, Kent. They're did all the, eukaryotes. Did the protista turn to a pine tree and a human? This chart says they did. This is what kids have to learn in school. You do believe a protista became a human and a pine tree. Over a billion years. Yeah. Huh? Okay, just admit it. If you want to believe something then dumb, that's fine. Okay. Don't call it science. Yeah. It All you're science. saying is that you don't get it, so it's not true. So let's get into this. Let's get into this. Okay, we're not getting any more of this. You're going to tell, tell, take all the animals forever. Let's talk no. about genetics. Science? Let's talk about genetic. What is a Calm fraternity down. test? Okay. What is a fraternity so, test? What, uh, somewhere for the protista to become a human. Okay. New information so you want to answer my questions and you go on and on and on and on about protists no, no. turning into... I want, I want, talk you to, I want the audience to see what a dumb religion you guys have chosen to follow. Not a religion. Not a religion. It is a religion. You believe... Nope. There's no moral code. There's no social structure. There's no... Uh, 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 Put your name on right here, okay? Put your name on right here. You imagine that over millions, billions of years, the protista could turn to a pine tree and a human. That's what the charts show, and that's my objection. It doesn't Can't happen. There's overwhelming evidence to support it. Well, I've asked you to show it to me. The protista. Did you not hear the part about fossils? Dave, 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 Dave. Protista don't have a lot of things that humans have. 
Protista yeah. don't have fingers and arms. They don't have yeah. the brains that they do. Protista have everything humans have? No, I agreed with you when you said they don't have hands because okay. anyone so, can so see good, that. Good, we're getting somewhere. We're getting some so somewhere along the line, the Protista had to have new information added to turn to a human on this chart. Didn't yeah, it? and I just told you that all mutations are new information. It's new information. It's a new gene. Okay. What do you not see so about you're that? Welcome. You're welcome to imagine that this happened, but where is the scientific evidence for any protista adding new information? Protista have a very short generation time. I don't know what it is for a protista, probably a couple of hours. You can get a whole, you can get the equivalent you, you, of millions of years of human to get evolution in one protista life. To turn into a human? What does that have to do with evolution at all? I'm telling you that very slow accumulation, gradual change, mutations, new genes. Did, did you not see my slide in the beginning? It's biochemistry. Do you know any biochemistry? Do you understand gene expression? Do you know how gene uh, expression works? Dave, Dave, do you know how you understand new new proteins? Dave, do you know you how do that works? Yes, I understand. You do a good job of do making you? things simple. I'm trying to make